Hello, and welcome to Yavaskir Mind Over Matter, Chapter 3, Session 8. Uh, it's like we've now becoming one of those seasonal animes uh, where it gets a little complicated, especially when you add in the movies and the crossovers. Huh. I think that the subtitle of this, e or the title of this episode is probably going to, based on previous experiences, going to be Our Inevitable Death. Please. <laughs> when you think about it, like season enders, we haven't got a good history with. We, mm -hmm. we do one throughout the season and the season ender just like resets it all. So it is like an anime, basically. <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to play smart in boss encounters because you're not oh, really no. a combat focused party. So oh, you no. need to use what you have to your advantage and be very clever. I this is checks. This is me. Uh, I fail in giving if, you advice in your, now. In your life fail those creativity checks. You're a very creative person. <laughs> Just look at the weird little squid guy that you've made. <laughs> the only character that hasn't needed new art because it, the, it, it's it. There he is. There's a shawl. We don't need to change it. Um. Yeah. So, quick recap of last few sessions. You've um, been sent tumbling into the Shadow Realm, which is where Free Smolder is from, and are trying to get back out while doing so, investigating and discovering as much as you can, especially finding out a bit more about the actual threat of the Long Shadows, which is not as bad as it was, so it really was just showing like the other party members, like, oh, this is what th was happening here, right? It, it was a, it was you know a Dark Souls Bloodborne situation, um, and uh, you ended up finding the king of uh, Free Smolder's old city, uh, and that discovering bitch. that the the little king has been prolonging their life using the embers from above, and uh, had some magical items, and also seemed to make some kind of deal with Atratosk, um, who is on the other side, which you are going to have to go and defeat uh, inevitably. Um, you have been given access to one of the life pod kind of portal realm plane shifting devices, but uh, to go through it, you're going to first have to defeat the champions of the Shadow Realm, primordial beings made in the image and deliberate purpose of the Empress Falumbral, the goddess of the Shadow Realm. They are crabs. I knew there was a reason I like Falumbro so much. Yeah. Falumbro. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there anything else major, majorly that we missed? It's kind of a lot of... I got a knife! Oh, um, and Free Smolder is... is... A knife! No! <laughs> <laughs> that beam comes up so fucking <laughs> often in Yavis gear. You should see how much in like the like other like story stuff like I do where it's like, there's the, the, the knife meme. It's always relevant. Peep. Uh, peep it, it, all the time. <laughs> yep. Um, in terms of other important stuff, I suppose Free Smolder resolving to like rebuild that I was gonna say, away from the king is pretty important. Yeah. After yes. discovering that it's there's there is a chance to rebuild here, but you'd need vestiges. Now, of course, it's of note. I never really mentioned this last time. This is not the only vestige city by a long shot. There's, I wouldn't say loads, but there's more. <laughs> you've got to um, travel the city to city, boning you've... as you go. Hope bringer. <laughs> Hope bringer. Hope bringer. <laughs> Hope bringer. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Let me carry on. There's a there's a way I can add ussy to something no! for it to fit, but I can't work it out. Because you can't do. <laughs> Vest. Yep, there we go. That's it. That's as good as we're going to get, at least. Um, <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> we're done. Is that the wording you wanted to use there, right in that moment? So, uh, as you are preparing to travel between realms, you are going to have a bad encounter with some crabs. And honestly, that's where we're starting off today's session. You enter this room, it's it's a long one, it's a dark one, and the the crab 
guardians are uh, crickling, crackling awake. Can I can I channel um, Irie and get a plus one bonus to communicate with crabs? No, as Charles, despite being a squidman, has no uh, relationship with crabs. As a crustacean, Ashal. Don't don't squids Aww, and crabs hate each other? It's a kingler. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, th there's a reason why I use my Kingler art there, because actually has a crown of horns, which everything connected, connected to Falumbral has. Um, <laughs> Serena had a crown of, of fins. Um, in which case, it's a roll initiative time. There is one big one of these. It's kind of like a pale bleached crab with darkness kind of within its joints. And uh, then there is a whole bunch of little ones that are going to start clattering and crickling closer. You know, you would have thought I would have got my dice ready in advance knowing this is a combat-only session, but you I didn't. think I would have clicked my character? No, I, 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 I did. I don't. I don't. <laughs> exactly the same role. <laughs> there we go. You love to see that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the little ones have more dexterity than the big one. That's cute. I made that. That's cute. I don't remember the rules I make. Like, ever. <laughs> I want that to be some kind of little comic or meme or something. Haha, <laughs> I made that. Just, just. I should actually have that. Because <laughs> I do not remember. And if any of you play like a custom class, like uh, Quill right now, it's like, what, what, does it, what does it do? <laughs> I don't know what it does. Yeah. I made it! I don't know what it does. This button says insta-kill. <laughs> uh, speaking of, Free Smolder, you actually get the first action while the crabs are just kind of starting to move. They're like crunching up and shadow essence is like crumbling off of them. I'm gonna move here more, and then I'm gonna take a shot at that little one. Right there. Why are you shooting the babies first? Because <laughs> clear out the little ones, you know? That's what I say. <laughs> when I taught kids classes. We did literally, like, start this call by talking about how, uh, you know. Kids are awful. Kids are awful. Um, that is not going to be a hit. Yeah. The, the, the bullet, like, hits the top of one of these little crabs and, like, crunches down and the bullet pings into the wall. If there's one thing we've learned about Yarvaskir, crabs are far more powerful than they should be. <laughs> and far more delicious. This is why I have the pre-boss encounter is a bunch of crabs. <laughs> Ollie is getting ah, revenge crab. on me, ruining so many of his encounters in the Waters of Tron game with just crab spam. <laughs> you didn't ruin any of them, you made them a delight. But I had to, I had to make a lot of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Are you good? You moved? Yep, that's right. Uh, Oshun. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything that costs a big spell slot. Yeah. So instead of what I was going to do... That is a big crab. That crab is the size of a man. <laughs> that's a big slot level threat. Crab. <laughs> so I'm just going to look at... Oh, no, that's not information. Dang yeah, it. because it's... An well, it gives you the information, but... Yeah, you, you did just lose a good attack roll and a good damage roll. Wait, so it's 60 foot maximum range, but it would be disadvantage at that range. Well, I'll yeah, go it's... ahead and do that again. Shall I roll another normal one? Roll, roll a very disadvantage. Okay. Yeah, you roll a disadvantage. You actually are within 60 foot range of the big crab, which is kind of impressive. Yeah. Um, and that's a hit. Oh, you were rolling damage. well with the rerolls recently. Same damage. So that is... Uh, you know, you, you, you said when you started using, when you got it, that you would start kind of like throwing it around, uh, just to get used to it. Like using it yeah. in battle, like it, it's, and just kind of cuts into the crab and slices back out very I smoothly because it, it, you think you did that much damage in comparison to its max HP? Look at the size of that crab. But they got little spindly legs. Not this one. Oh, it's shit. based off a king crab. It's... Big crunchos. Ew. I'm good at describing monsters. Imagining um, a crab with like thick legs now. It's this real. It's concerning. It's real. <laughs> um, but because you have a magical weapon, it cuts into the crab easily. But this does not 
kill the crab. Uh, do you want to move? Do you want to do anything else? I'm good. Okay, and of course, the back to your hand. On the spider. I just thought of the thing of that me with a crab leg, just going like, money, 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 and then just the <laughs> dagger flying out over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> These are shadow crabs. They want souls. <laughs> Souls, SpongeBob. Now I need to have a crab encounter where it's just like covered in coins. It has a small horn. SpongeBob yes. boy, I need souls. <laughs> I love you. You're great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we hack away. Hack away. Speaking of souls, it's our oh, Charles' God. turn. Oh, what are you doing now? <laughs> like a dog, just gonna be like, of spin note, it out! Um, spin much it out. like entering a uh, Pokemon gym battle and Pokemon shield, uh, entering battle you feel a thrum of fiendish energy in the runes you carved into your arm. Excellent. As if um, something is active, but you don't know what the succubi in your body is doing. That's fair. Um, so you describe these as like um, guardians of Uhaga. Is that something we know generally, or is that just Ollie saying that to players? <laughs> I mean, they are creatures in a focal point of shadow energy. They are, and they are clearly fell, right? They are just not. Wondering how much they are not regular old crabs. Yeah, I was just wondering how much Azshal would know about them, given their um, learning of the Shadow of the Shadow Realm. You could give me a uh, nature check. Just curious, just Ian being curious. Nice. I was so <laughs> looking forward to that being a bad roll for once. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things with the, the Shadow Realm and the, and the, the, the Fey Realm is that they are mirrors. So um, when there are giant coastal rock crabs like this, this is kind of a shadowy equivalent that, yeah, it seems that sometimes in the Shadow Realm things are so saturated with power that they do, they do become like such a stronger entity. Um, but what doesn't look very strong on them is actually their claws. Um, even though that would be how they attack, they do appear to be kind of flimsy and maybe easy to crack and break. Okay. Um, well, maybe you I can tell because to... of the way the shadow essence is latticed together, or yeah. something. I don't know. Some That's bullshit. <laughs> shell does kind of have some things that could maybe help with that. I also, it, it would also be logical to assume that as they are shadow crabs, that like even if a regular shadow. crab did have resistance to fire for some reason, these ones probably don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been burned by me too many times to assume that a crab is resistant to fire. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know Kingler are usually orange, but um, <laughs> well, this what the what um, it has now been harmed by Ocean, so I will toll the dead on Big Boy Crab over there. Okay. Crab wisdom. Oh, rolls of one. That's thirteen necrotic damage. Excellent. You can basically see the the fell essence like vent from the, the crack that. Uh, Oshun carved into its side with the dagger. I, sh I shall will call out. Um, will, will call out. The claws appear to be weak points. You may be able to disable them. Into the claw. Understood. The claw. The claw. I had to. Someone had to. And I ordered to beat Quill for once. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Ah, it, that that little that. crab swarm is just gonna sideways run just up the ocean. Oh no, the fell crabs run straight up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very unsettling. They're just on their back, two the... legs. Yeah, I was gonna say, just, <laughs> just, just sprinting. This is or why like, we don't get crab normal men legs. Or they're all three normal legs. Like, just thinking, are moving as one leg. <laughs> <laughs> Little crabs first, scuttling crab around. We're Big crab. Unsettled. There's thick shadow essence <laughs> splurting out of the, the, the cut on the side, spraying onto the wall. 
it kind of like lets out a, a bubbly gasp on its like large hinged jaw and it will start yeah it's gonna it's gonna wedge itself nicely nicely in the corner there to fight a shawl <laughs> a shawl's okay Hello. with this <laughs> free smolder all right uh 10 20 25 i'll take a shot at the big boy and aim for the claws. Does that make a disadvantage or anything? Or no, it's mostly just like if you get a crit or a really high amount of damage, it'll it'll affect things. Eh, it's a hit, great. It's not damage, but... but it is damage. It's it's all adding up. This this thing is taking damage. It's not healing or anything. It's just it's got a lot of crab meat in there. You know. Do Delicious. I want this thing so? Does it have a soul? No, it's just a little crab. It has essence. It's a At big least. crab. It's a big boy. Ocean. Gonna hack at the crab near me. Okay, go. Neutral <gasps> roll, no advantage or anything. For some reason I keep thinking that those things go back to normal by themselves, but they really don't. You can set it that way so it gives you a prompt every time you roll. The issue That's with roll why. 20 is it doesn't always put it on the top of the sheet. So you can sometimes be like, what am I doing? Why is nothing happening? And it's just not like showing you anything. That's that's a hit and it's damage on the uh, swarm of crabs. You know, enough to knock out a couple of them. So you And you, your dagger is sharp enough to just kind of effortlessly cleave through <laughs> crabs. Ocean's going to take a single moment of introspection, like, maybe this is a bad idea to get used to this feeling. <laughs> Ashal, um, unless you want to do anything else. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Ashal wants um, the essence of a guardian of, the, of Uhaga for research purposes. Essence trap on For Mr. Kingbury over research here. Research purposes. <laughs> do not fuck the crab. Do not. Fuck do not. The crab. Also, do not consume. Well, consuming crab is usually okay. Maybe a shell's allergic. Um, it's gonna fail. It's Excellent. not gonna die or even be bloodied yet. But you can get a kind of a, a connection. The shadow essence that's pouring out of it already is starting to into the shoal gem. Um, blood draw allows me to try and steal a blood point back for that. It's his con. Oh. Uh, I, well, you know, I, I always roll badly on those, but if I'm going to roll badly on anything, it's those that I want yeah. it to be on. You get soup. <laughs> Got crab ambushed. Crabs. Uh, what's your AC? Oh, another group. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, the crabs hid behind a rock, and you all fell for it. Outside that crab. Uh, you 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 almost don't notice, like as you're backing up to take another shot, and there's these, these swarm of crabs, like trying to kind of pinch at you, but they they do not get through even the, the beginning of like your carapace. <laughs> they're not even. But they're crabs. If they get the right angle, they crunch you. So speaking of, they get the right angle. Your thigh muscle is gone. <laughs> I don't even know if Free Smolder has muscles. True. <laughs> just powered by hydraulics. Oh wait, for a moment I thought you were referring to a shawl. I'm just imagining like a shawl has I mean, muscles. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say a shawl getting his thigh muscles snipped doesn't really matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, Muscles. That's terrible. Uh, at least it's not the Achilles tendon. That's really one you can just. Oh, I've been disillusioned to that since um, I saw the devil. So <laughs> just, just casually saw him hanging out. Um, A very good movie. <laughs> what's your AC, Eshar? Twelve. You are going to get crunched by the crab claw. Probably I need to find a dice. Uh, it's going to be eight piercing damage, and uh, then they are going to attack with their acidic bubbling spit, which also hits. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. 
uh, for 12 acid damage. Ow. Yeah, it's like, it, it crunches you in place, and you can even, like, see, because it's a shadow creature, the kind of, like, almost organic mechanics of the claw kind of locking in place to st strike you, but it's just, like, bubbling up all this acid around it. Uh, it's jaw. Free smolder. Nice. All right, I'll risk the, oppor the opportunity attack and move one, two, three, move here. Little cardboards go pinch. Your AC is 16? Yes. Yeah, they don't hit that. Nice. They were closer, so I had to ch oh, double check. A small crab. <laughs> and shoot the big crab. -o. Colonel, there's a big crab I over a here. I have plus seven, and I'm rolling like shit. That's because all yeah. the good ones are coming when there's the big boss fight. True, I'm gonna crit. That's how you do crit. seem to get the crits oh, when they matter, right. just in general. True. So, yeah. at least for the at least for a rule of cool. Um, yeah, that's going to be a miss. Oh, Jun. I'm gonna take a knife at the little one again, and I'm going to toll the dead, the big one. You because... can't do both. Shoot. All right, then. I'm just going to stab at the little one. That is a hit on the little ones. Uh, it's not a kill. Ah! Oh, death by a thousand very effective paper cuts. <laughs> yeah. Big enchanted knife. It does do... I mean, remember, 10 HP is how much an average person has. So you're doing eight-tenths of a person damage. <laughs> Which is a lot. For That's a knife. Really <laughs> yeah. Just how many parts of people I could kill. That's how I uh, visualize it, at least. Um, Ishal. Visualize pain. Acid spit wall. <laughs> no. Um, Ishal is going to reach for the claw, try and use their knowledge of fell magics to break it down with a break form. Not very good damage. Uh, it doesn't have the greatest con, so that is going to hit, and it's going to bloody the uh, crab guardian, but not uh, not not enough to to kill it or break the claw. Give me blood points, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're longer for the blood points, just so you can do more bullshit in a boss fight. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, crabs against Ocean are going to miss. Crabs are going to continue chasing. Um, no, thank God. They are going to. So the crabs against Ocean are also going to move and they're going to flank a shawl. Can I take an opportunity attack? You can. Swing. Do I just roll a normal yeah. stab? Mm. stab? That's a hit! It's, it does not uh, kill the crab swarm as they're leaving you, but there's still there's just one tiny crab behind a shawl intimidatingly right now. <laughs> but that's enough to give advantage. No. This one has a gun, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's, it's, one, it's one of those many gifts that went round in a Monday game. The crab with a knife no. or a gun or something. Yes, the crab, oh, you get the stab. Oh. <laughs> uh... Crabs continue to try and stab Free Smolder, but do not. Um, and stomp on them eventually. Uh, the giant crab guardian spends this turn reopening the claw. It's like a, a, a crocodile's jaw. It has to like consciously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it can attack you with its spit, which will hit. Oh shit! Take my shit. No. <laughs> Look, I was trying to rhyme. <laughs> Ten acid damage. I always feel like Ashar should have resistance to acid, but they don't. It's just, no. it's just Why like are you a goopy boy. <laughs> you got to work like, on that. Got to inject yourself with something. I don't know. <laughs> Ashwell's backstory is like this suggests that they should have acid resistance. It really and they don't. does. Just look at you. You look acidic. You look it's like acidic you're acidic purple. Is the color Ian uh, told me? 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Acidic bitch. Uh, oh, chem- I, the, the I get it. Little, little chemistry joke. Little, little chemistry joke. <laughs> Actually, realistically, this would be alkali spittle, not acid spittle. Um, ah. Now that you made me think about that, it. But mechanically, it's the same water. thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why it's hurting so much. I can't use that as a chemical exfoliant. <laughs> Pre smolder. And then use sunscreen right. afterwards. Go on, little crabos. Try your damnedest. This is where they snip my whole leg off. This is where they get a crit. <laughs> uh, no, they miss. <laughs> All right, come on, shoot the crabo. This is it. This is. I can feel a crit coming. I, can feel it coming. I was wrong. That's an eleven. Uh, that adds up to an eighteen, and that is a hit. Nice. It's it's damage. I will take it. <laughs> Ocean. Yes. It's your turn. <sighs> Crabs have fled the scene. Not really. They're just under a Charles nameplate. Do I? Are we flanking? Yes. You would get okay. advantage on the little crabs, but not the big ones. And you could, because you have returning and range and stuff. You can attack over people and around people and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm little crabs like are right there. ADHD fixated on this one because I haven't finished the project of this little crab, and I'm like <laughs> sunk cost fallacy. Let's go, ja, 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 ja. It's a pretty uh, good way just... of looking at D&D encounters, actually. <laughs> the cost fallacy. And ADHD fixation, yeah. 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 I know uh... I have to help a shawl, but it's... it's As shawl's it's got it sorted die. out, honest. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry. Say this, <laughs> I'm knock okay. on that wood. As shawl's, like, melting yeah. a little, but is is doing... You have advantage. Oh, advantage. As shawl's oh, always We talked melting. about this. <laughs> well... Okay, I didn't roll advantage, so it's the big crab. No, it's you are attacking the little crab with advantage. Okay. You can't declare after you've rolled to change who you're attacking. Okay. Otherwise, I everyone would do it, it to yeah. attack whatever oh, with the best roll. Yeah. Hey, there's, <laughs> there's the crit. The crit. <laughs> and I, you you skewer the last crabs flanking a shawl effortlessly in a spray of crab right. goo. I killed the little one. Well done. <laughs> As the big one's like, I'm blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Eshaw. Um, I will Wind of Respite. <clears throat> Give my... Everyone gets that 10 HP. I don't think anyone else needs healing, but anyone who wants it gets it. Thanks, mate. Um, and I am going to... Uh, Tempestuous magic um, to, 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 uh, to go doing, and then and that does a right opportunity attack. That's so funny that you're that you're using it to go around a corner. That's yeah. so funny to imagine, especially because you're floating anyway. You're fighting this giant hell crab, <laughs> and you just sh- sh- around a corner. Yeah. <laughs> around especially because every yeah. time I imagine, I don't think any of you would know this, but there's an item in Dota that that allows you to do that, and I imagine that noise every time. Like, yeah. Oh, is it four staff? Staff. staff. Four staff, but there's also there's That's more it. now. They keep yeah, adding new Yule's, ways to do it. Yeah, there's Yule Scepter. There's Dragon Lance. There's all sorts. Um, <laughs> cool. That's your turn. Now it's time for the little crabs. No. Uh, what are they up to? They're attacking Ocean. Shit. No. Well, Ocean, what's your armor class? Sense. Sixteen. Incensed at the death of their brethren. Does not hit. Your, not your, incensed your new, enough. <laughs> with your new armor helps. Even though we've discussed Yay! many times that Oshun has open-toed armor, and realistically a crab could just snip a toe. Uh, they toes! aren't. They are not doing... They, they, they aren't... You know, they're not the smartest combatants. <laughs> Um, got to do some quick math. Oh, your AC is 16. Yes. It gets a 15 attacking you, Free Smolder, uh, with its crab claw. So it's one of those ones where it's like, it probably grabs you, but like just the armor and carapace holds up. And then uh, it will use its spittle goo. And that will be a miss. 
It's just kind of just awkwardly holding it. Doing my way around all this. Yeah. You 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 are empowered now. You have a goal. You have a reason to to get out of here. I realized I might just be wearing my lucky stuff because I realized as well. I'm not only wearing a D and D shirt. Yeah. That I got, but I got these like a while back. But. <laughs> oh, that's, pretty that is, that's pretty good. That's pretty oh, good. Yeah. My lucky socks. All that's right. such a, a niche product. I, I know what I got. Was, what the fuck? Uh, I have socks okay. with monsters on them at the moment. Oh. So it's like they're like around your foot. <laughs> My dad got oh, like the shark ones. Good. No, they're like they're like weird. Oh, mixed I had, up monsters. I good. had the best slippers that were just like sharks that, that were like eating your ankles. Oh. Like really big, thick, fluffy slippers. <laughs> they, they, I used them so much that they eventually fell apart. I, so, I believe oh. that. All right, <laughs> Next year's Christmas present, though, we remember that. Right, right. I risk the opportunity attack to move. From the giant crab? Big crabbo. Ah, uh, it's quick math. <gasps> it's going to hit. Oh, did it just get a sixteen? It just did got it a sixteen. I was so used oh. to people asking that question suspiciously, so they can cast shield. I had to pause for a second. <laughs> um, it is d twelve damage, and it rolls twelve, so that's going to be fifteen piercing damage. Ooh, it's one of those things where you're leg. getting away, and the crab claw is already shut. You like kind of back up and it just like forward and just jabs you with it like it would a horn. Well, I am going to return the favor and shoot it. A cha. Oh, that is the bolt. Bolt is just going to ping off. Ah. <laughs> the crab is bloodied. You must not lose hope. Oh, shit. I'm going to attack this crab and go. Yeah. That's a miss. Ding. Sorry. <laughs> Slides comfortably against the curve of the crab shell and dings off. And then just like lands on the floor, just like make eye contact <laughs> with the face <laughs> <smaller>, like. <laughs> This thing's bouncing shells like a T-34. What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay. Ash, uh... um, as, well, attacking it doesn't seem to... Or making attack rolls doesn't seem to be doing very well against the Kingler. So I'm going to toll the dead on it. Yeah. Stop calling it Kingler. <laughs> it's yeah. a Kingler. It's, not it's well. legally not a Kingler. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, that's it. I, rarely do we see the two rolls being so close. It is going to hit, and it is going to be the slightly higher one. Uh, again, the like wounds you have struck on it, it just makes the, the internal fell echo. And this is one of the ways you can tell that it's actually like a fell guardian, not just an animal, because it's just filled with goo. Like, sludge, basically. Oh, and it's just... Oh. Well, fells especially. I don't like how I said that, and it kind of ended up sounding a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, little crabs against ocean. They're gonna oh. hit. Ah! My toes. I painted those nails blue. Now oh, they're ruined. That, that would be uh, four piercing damage. Oh. Yeah, they don't even get a single toe off. It's just, you know... It's like you stubbed it. Ah! <laughs> it's like a paper cut! It is like a paper cut. Oh, Peter. Uh, Peter. <laughs> the funny thing is, Balord from the Saturday game, uh, Ori decided should sound like um, that guy. What's his? Patrick Warburton. Yeah. But oh, I Peter. I can't oh, do it yeah. that close, so and also he's old. But that's definitely the young Balord is just Patrick Warburton, oh, yeah. especially in the Emperor's New Groove. I don't even have a yeah. choice about that. That you know. 
Uh, you only do that. I hate Peter. Me smile. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. I was going here. Big this crab. crab would have moved a little bit, so it has crab vantage. It cannot no! use its claw this turn. The claw has to spend this turn ratcheting open, but it can spit on you, no. which will not hit. Not into that. Does does the acid bubbling does not affect you? Good. Free smolder. Let's shoot the big crab. Pachoo. I just got that music. It just started. That's a hit. Eleven damage. This is one of the uh, ones Josiah wrote, I think. It is. <gasps> yeah, I think. No. It is no, Malakesh's song. It's Malakesh's <laughs> yeah. theme. Yeah, Josiah used to do it... themes for every character. We haven't got to do ones for these ones for this show. Yeah. Malakesh's theme makes it very appropriate for us acid spitting crab. <laughs> it's true. Good old Malakesh. <laughs> oh sure. I love hearing the music that my friends have made. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to step on this crab <laughs> <laughs> and then hopefully get like into a position where I can maybe get advantage with the shark. You calm. It's not. It's not in base contact with me. You're it. not going to like move one. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, but if I a shark can. wants to move but later, you've opened some turn. opportunities. Yeah, the little crabs do kind of like as you move, little crabs kind of like fall off your legs, but they do not do any damage to you. Why is everything trying to climb, Oshun? Cause you're eight foot tall. She's very cr climbable. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a big one. I'm sorry, I didn't stipulate. Uh, no, that's fair, fine. You that's a hit. Climbing on people who are climbing on you. So, could you imagine if Oshun tried to climb on someone? <laughs> It would I be mean, with, like, all the legs. Cinnabelle is equally Horrible. a large-sized creature, and your wife. Fair enough. Everyone else would be crushed. Hmm. Yeah. Rachel. Finish him. I'll probably you miss won't. now, I said. You, you ain't got the bottle to kill a <laughs> crab. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you reach out, put your hand on the crab, and it crunches into a it small, no. dry ball. All the shadow essence just splats out and then coalesces into a single stream that fills the soul gem, and it just turns black. Not even, like, She's glowy, just... I've got enough, yeah. Shadow crab soul gem. Oshun is going to say that. You should wear these things as jewellery. I shall laughs slightly. Slightly evilly. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't defeated all the crabs in this chamber. There are still guardians protecting this place. Okay? And Would with it be that. Cruel to finish the small ones? No. Should we just leave them? Well, before we try to keep and them. And then. Bite you. I'll bite this me. Is gonna be, it's going to be a hit on the shawl for three damage. Well, there goes my 10 HP and <laughs> an 8 HP. Oh, it, it, all, it all adds up. Soon you will fall to my mighty plans. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we've got him now! Oh. Now you're making me feel bad about me. For fuck's sake! Oh. Oh. It's okay. You fire a shot. The recoil is farther than you expected as the charge in your cannon increases. From your pouch, the shadow-infused pearls that power the uh, cage will actually spill out. And Gosh. as they roll on the floor they will actually be sucked into the cage, into three little power points where it goes gunk, 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 oh and it will just kind of open and start sucking you all in. Fuck. Uh, if you want to- That was not intended. <laughs> if you want to resist, you can make me deck saves. Can I uh, spider climb like onto a wall? And I'll give you advantage. I don't. Uh, I don't know if we want. The, the the risk is that if we try and resist, we're not going to be able to make it back. I think we kind of have to take the risk. 
I think we go. We go. Oh, our shoe sucks up the little spider legs and goes. <laughs> um, also, the crabs Every are coming with you. <laughs> <laughs> you three plus the swarm of crabs. Uh, get pulled into the cage. With Ocean in the cage, it's a bit snug. It would have comfortably fit three people if one of them wasn't a massive woman. But it, you all <laughs> kind of crunch in together. It closes, and then just suddenly. There's not really much of, like, a thrum of magic. Suddenly, you are in a different plane. It's that simple. In I fact, guess. I am going to add the cage to the other map. I didn't think about that. So, give me a second. this seemed to go okay. <laughs> I did not intend for that to happen. Now, let me uh, point out before you start talking, you are in the other plane in Atratosk's chamber. <laughs> oh, shit. When the, ca the cage opens and it's smoking and it has that uh, dark shimmer that you saw from the other cage, right before you, and because you're all kind of pulled in so tightly, like, uh, Charles and Free Smolder tumble out. Um, <laughs> Ocean goes, pop. <laughs> yeah, you're, lo you're like suppressed Trash into off. the cage bars and like pop out. Yeah. Uh, so just a crown uh, hanging by like one of Ajara's tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly are translocated to the chamber of Atratosk. Uh, it is a vast, grand room oh. made of metal pinned to the large uh, chitinous growths that are used in Mind Flayer construction. It is dark, it is gloomy, there is shadow palpitating all around the brine pool of which an elder brain rules from. And in the middle of that pool is Atratosk, uh, a hind brain, an elder brain, a giant entity made up of grey matter. To say it looks like a brain is correct, but it doesn't look like a human brain, nor even an Ebamari brain, because it's just congealed, collected, squished up brain matter with a mass of dark tendrils all around it. And it actually looks like the pool it's in has this film, almost grainy. It's kind of impossible to tell what it is from, from here. And uh, to, to add to the descriptions, there is one, uh, Mind Flayer, who is not, um, un well, if they're undead, they're still together. You actually saw them before, flying around the city. Um, they're wearing kind of leather garb, and it kind of covers the tendrils, actually. So they're kind of very contained, uh, and their eyes are just empty darkness. And over here, uh, appears to be, uh, something that Lloyd actually kind of mentioned... But Atratosk was building some kind of body. It's made of metal and chitin and folded bone. It has almost what... It's humanoid, but massive. And it has no head. Like, that's not really an accurate uh, token. And on one arm, instead of having, like, a hand, it has almost what looks like a beehive. Kind of. Um, or coral. Or, like, like, a series of sponges or something. Um, and it's chained up. It's like kind of unfinished, chained up against the, uh, the the walls there. I'm gonna need you to roll initiatives. Now this is why I have so many books ah, on the floor right now. <laughs> That's really good initiative rolls from you guys, actually. Which is quite useful, considering you were just tumbled into here before having a chance to prepare. Which was why that was a one that did that. It means you didn't have any chance to heal. Yeah. Um, I was going to use the Jar of Embers, get back, uh, add some healing potions, get back to nearly full HP, you know. You can do that <laughs> while we're having a nice civil conversation. Yes, it's right? actually a thing. The Jar of Embers, because you can use a bonus action or uh, an action to drink from a healing potion, right, technically, you can drink twice from a bo the, the embers as a bonus yeah. and then because it has more s slots. So you can do the, like, yeah. monster hunter thing of, like, the glug glug. Um, that, and then there is... I'll just use this stat here. That. 
And that is... Oh, no. Uh, the enemies do not get no good initiative rolls nowadays. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. That's good for you guys. Um, Free Smolder, you pop onto the ground nearly. You manage to catch yourself. And you were in this chamber. Um, you may expect some kind of reaction from Atratosk. But it's just breathing and shadow. You know, this isn't really a... Like a, a, a scheming villain where, ah, you're in your chamber, you're gonna get a monologue. It's just kind of a. The monologue is. I, I should, it's like, a congealed. It, it did its monologue. You know, it, it's very unlikely to speak again. If it does, maybe you could prompt it to. But it's just kind of pulsating and breathing and maybe concentrating in other places right now, actually. Am I allowed to speak slightly out of turn order here? Considering I. Depends what Free is gonna do. If Free is just immediately gonna shoot people, I think you shoot Free Smod will probably shoot oh, oh. before you speak. I'm just I'm giving I'm giving like I was gonna to talk to the party. I'm not talking to Atratosk or, okay, or anything. That's yet. fine. As Shaw would quick. say as, as Shaw would sort of look briefly glance around, that's probably what gives Free Smod the, the the term, but will he they will call out Take the Abimari first, then Atratosk. Ashun, see if you can get Dreyer in here. So, uh, fucking crabos. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, the crabs need a turn order as 15, well. 20. <laughs> oh, Damn! No! <laughs> They're gonna be the ones that kill you. I'm not even joking. They're gonna get yeah. the final kill steal on they get uh, someone. Smith on me as I run. Uh, no, they are. They're, they're, they're like on their backs. They're confused. It's like a swarm okay, of. Okay, okay. I want a oh. pet shadow crab. No, they run towards you, <laughs> not sideways. <laughs> right, I will shoot that that Ebamari then. Okay. Uh, oh. I love when the big lots of dice go roll. That was so close to an eighteen. You I you shoot it. it the 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 Ebamari looks almost you know undefended, but then when you shoot it, it's kind of like phases and shifts quickly enough that you the bullet misses and then we'll just kind of raise its gangly hands and in magic preparedness uh, fine my turn yeah, sure One, i two, end my turn three, four, i play five. pot of greed <laughs> Don't approach the dangerous thing. I'm going to... Well, I... No, oh, come on. I've got three directions to go. All of them are potentially approaching dangerous things. It's all so backwards. <laughs> There's a nice um, empty corridor down there. What What could possibly be the issue of, of taking preparedness down there? The roof of the Ashar corridor is, is some kind of ribcage. <laughs> Good idea. I was going to firebolt the Ebamari. Well, I'm, I'm, that's not going to go well. <laughs> Do you have to give me a moment? Because I have this battle map up twice and it's big. The dice rolls are slow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nat one. Um, yeah, that's just a big miss. The the Ebermari just gives like a a quizzical look. <laughs> Ashar just head. looks down at the, at the, at the like glowing <laughs> arm. It's just like... <sighs> and then downs a dose of the jar of embers. <laughs> Oh, Shun, you're up next. Um, actually, real quick before I describe, the embers have a comfortable burn. Imagine if you were drinking, like, a burning liquor, but then immediately had that, like, cooling aloe right afterwards, or, like, cream or something. It's it's all in one. And you can feel it immediately stitching back together wounds. Anti-acid reflux <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a it's a Tums festival in that jar. <laughs> um, Oshun is going to get out of the cage because I don't want to be trapped when things go blare. Uh, uh, are they still on their back? Yeah, they haven't had their turn yet. Okay. You can you can run away from the crabs. <laughs> get away from me, crabs! And. I'm going to cast. Uh, where is it? Where is Sending it? Sending third level spell. Third level spell. Oh. That's a second. Right. Oh. I'm so blind. Yay! I found it! <laughs> to Drea. 25 words or less! Oh, 
do I know where we are? We're, we're in we're, the we're, hall we're... of At- Atratosk. If you could aid, please do. <laughs> okay. Are you going to count me? Drea! <laughs> in Atratosk Hall! Love you. That, that well under the count. <laughs> I like how you were conserving words, but never went any, like, only had seven in the end anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a panic. You actually do immediately get a response, and, like, the first thing you hear is, like, sprinting breaths. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, she's like a quiet samurai, so you just hear, like, the... <sighs> like, it's not even tired, it's just, and it's fairly quiet. It's probably pretty hot. But it is just a... <laughs> I sensed it. I'm on my way. <laughs> so. No love you back. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> that, my action. Yeah, sending is an action. So... Uh... It's actually a full round. You actually can't... No. I'm dumb. It's no, it's an action. Yes, I read the wrong okay. thing. Is there a bonus action to, like... Summon the spiritual weapon. The spiritual spiritual weapon is bonus action. Yes. Oh god, I need case, to get it. Weapon. Where do you want to do it? When you cast it's it, within... it's sixty foot range, so you could. <laughs> I'm impressed that the, the, you'd know that off the top of your head, Ian. You've never even played. Oh. You, you have you had a spiritual weapon before. I have yeah, I, a. Sorry. I've played clerics. B. I, I I don't mean this in a mean way. I've been remembering Zoe's spells for them for a lot of this campaign. <laughs> I can remember things that are associated with pictures. Yeah. Numbers don't fall into no. that. Yeah. Spirit weapon is the, spirit weapon's odd and memorable because it's it, when you cast it, it's got a sixty foot cast range, but this weapon can only move twenty foot a turn. So. Like, right. Yeah. Um, you, where do you want to put there, it? Did you decide? What is our goal again? Because of course, it, when it yeah, summons, yeah. it makes an attack as well. Okay, so there's no reason for this guy. Well, uh, very unlikely. And I mean, even if there was, do you want to reason with him? He'd like tortured Lloyd and has been... No, I like Lloyd. You like Lloyd, yet you never checked on him. He's been in your bag since you entered the Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Void. So it just just in terms of tactics, best place to summon it would be there. Because well, I thought that we were gonna to talk to What is this button? There's a new button. I can put down yeah. There's an instant torch button! Holy oh, shit! Oh wow, God. that's actually useful, Roll20. I like that. <clears throat> that's super useful. Um yeah, roll um spiritual oh, weapon because it it doesn't attack as it summons. Spiritual weapon. Act as flanking. No, it, gains it gets advantage. Point. It doesn't give advantage because it's ethereal. Okay. It's like so a it's like a hard light hologram. Yeah. Should I have it here? Does that help you? You wouldn't I mean, be able to attack I, from there, so you'd yeah, kind of I, waste your instant turn. I suggested there just because it means you can then move it as quickly as possible to add to task yes. eventually. Okay, and okay. it's not uh, giving. I don't think giving me advantage is well giving. Yeah. Not a big deal. <laughs> so I've summoned it and I have to roll. Should yeah. just be able to click the spell. I don't know how we have it set up. I have such a long list that I have to find yeah. it. Eight. Uh yeah. It, it, it hits, it's damage. I have a swad. <sighs> Okay, next is Atratosk. And that's it. Atratosk just lets out like a just breathes. And shadow just <sighs> off of this brain. And you just see more of the tendrils just rise like snakes from the pool, dripping ichor and water, and it's this sort of salty brine uh taste in the air combined with the uh scent of the shadow realm, which it's kind of almost more palpable because of how saturated Atratosk is in the shadow, where you would have, you know, networks of blood through a brain, which isn't very fun to think about, but there's blood thumping through your brain. There's just darkness. So he, he kind of is like, he wouldn't be pink. He would be like translucent white with veins of dark. Um, 
Okay. And what are you gonna do, Atratos? Murder us. That's what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, but it all, there's also a lot of range involved. Uh, unluckily, all three of you are within range. Uh, give me intelligence saving throws. What intelligence has no key or hinge key or lid? <laughs> yeah, golden treasure inside his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably not enough against a boss. Uh, not that's smart. definitely not enough. <laughs> well, uh, quite logical that the person who lives in the Shadow Realm is the one to resist this uh, starting psychic attack uh, from the Shadow Creature. Uh, it is going to be... Mr. Dice. Um, 21 psychic damage. Uh, and actually, Freeze Model takes none of that. As Charles and Ocean do, and you are also stunned. As basically, from Atratos is just this, the shadow whips off around it like ink splashing on the ground. And um, from that, there is the, uh, this, this wave of intense emotions. And this would be actually when both of you do hear things, but it's different things. It's Atratos kind of threateningly bargaining with you in the terms of, of like, you know, especially to us, Charlotte, it's like, we could rebuild, we could make something greater. Just let me implant more of my shadow in you. It's already so close. And there's similar things to Oshun as well. It's like, you have no idea what they're going to do to you up there that I can stop. It's all that kind of things and whispering harshnesses in your mind. And so the both of you are stunned. This will be an end of turn effect to resist. Uh, let me just put little symbols so that I know. Next up is the crabs. They flip over. Oh shit. So intimidating. They go for Oshun. No! They have advantage. You're stunned. Oh, they God. don't hit. Oh, thank God. And actually, Atratosk is also on their turn going to swim a little bit closer in the pool. No. Um, no brain swimming. Yeah, brain swimming! Uh, the Hierophant, the Ebermari Hierophant, will uh, choose to focus more on Free Smolder. <laughs> they got a good thing they can do. Okay. I was worried. The Charles wants to have his brains eaten. <laughs> Wouldn't be as Charles, the first uh, as Charles is already, you know, an Ebermari, it's not necessarily the right idea. Um, the Hierophant is going to attempt to cast Banishment on Free Smolder. Oh. You do not belong in this realm. No, so, we like you. Charisma saving throw. Okay. Quick, tell a joke! I've never seen that against a player character, but it makes perfect sense. Oh no. We've got to make him drop concentration. Concentration! 64! The... <laughs> no repeats or hesitation. The Ebamari uh, Hierophant, like you can't even see its mouth, but there's just this gurgling of magic words, and then it does like kind of thrust its hands forward, and all of a sudden, Free Smarter, you are falling. And you are falling between realms. Um, but I hope you don't appear between a wall. <laughs> well, you know that on the other side of this is the area you just came from. So oh, okay. she's probably fine, but there will be no way for her to join the fight if banishment ends. So, and it's also very clear, like you can see the rings of magic and it's not like a typical wizard. It's like almost coiling tendrils, like an octopus around them with magic symbols on it. Um that uh, the Hierophant is concentrating on the banishment. Uh, if it can finishes its minute, uh, then... <laughs> then Freeze Mold is fucked. Um, you can't really do anything. Oh, no, no, Freeze Mold is not fucked. We're fucked. Freeze Mold is fine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, Ashal, you are stunned. Give me a uh, intelligence saving throw. If I ever needed to roll decently, now would be the time, please, roll 20. You are still <laughs> stunned. You are 
Oh, still stunned. Next up, Oshun. Same check. Intelligence. Where's it Where's it Both of you are still stunned. Plan as well, but can I say anything? Stunned. No, you are you are essentially having a seizure right now. Uh, well, Adratos has to get closer to do anything else, <laughs> so there is that at least. And they're very slow, so actually. They, they they spent this turn swimming to the edge of the pool. <laughs> they're not fast. Because they're like a, 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 an octopus on land. You know, the tendrils kind of roll over each other and it lumbers and moves and breathes. Oh, well, I like the, them. Yeah. Well, why don't you like this guy? <laughs> Crabs. <laughs> they're going to hit uh, Shun! <gasps> It's gonna be Dead. seven piercing damage to Ocean from the oh, uh, crabs God. that came in through and the shadow realm. And it breaks realm. her out of, of stun, yes! right? No, Although, it was no, oh, I'm pretty sure while stunned, uh, concentration <laughs> breaks, so I don't think you have your scythe anymore. Yeah, no, no, spiritual weapon isn't concentration. Yeah. Oh, of course. That's why it's such a broken, it's such a broken of spell. Course. <laughs> Spirit Guardian is concentration. The Hierophant is nope. It's so you can't move it. You're no, unconscious. No, no, yeah, no. He, yeah, moved. No, he moved. Oh, he moved. I'm sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, is there anything oh, it wants Lord, to do? Um, is there really he can do actually? So, he's just going to get into a good position around Oshun. And the, the, the Hierophant floats around behind Oshun and then lifts up to oh. brain-eating height. Oh no. Millie is going to have to get through the hair. Right. <laughs> yeah! Just like he goes through, he's like... Yeah. What about the child that's in the hair? <gasps> we'll come back. And then, like, just start stabbing at him. That <laughs> vomits on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashol, intelligence save. Come on. You can do this. You're smart. I'm smart. This is a save I'm come decent on. at. Oh, why? <laughs> why is it against bosses we cannot roll? Well. Oh, Shun, give me an intelligence save. I'm not smart. Not smart. <laughs> you break out. It's the end of your turn, but you break out quickly enough to see oh. this guy going for the uh, the brain suck. Can I just suck. move? Not leave in like a... No, it's not end of turn. See, it's it's you, can, you can turn, but you can't act in any way because it's the end of your turn. So you can so be I like, I know. You can't run away. anything. I can't with my hands. Ugh. No. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, Atratos gonna make an attack roll against Ashal. Well, Ashal's basically dead at this point. <laughs> um. Well, it was a bad roll, but you have bad an armor class. So from the water pool, just gonna be a. Tendrils reaching out, grabbing. It's going to be enough bludgeoning damage to knock you out. Yeah, that's going to be... Actually, will that knock you out? That's going to be 11 bludgeoning that's, damage. Oh, I've got 10 health. That's not... That doesn't even leave me stable. It's minus 1 HP. <laughs> Come on! As you are struck... And the threat of death rises. The funny thing is, Charles isn't sentient in this moment to notice it. Only Oshun does. Um, it's like the tendril like kind of strikes and then kind of goes for the grapple, but the burning on the arm will grow and grow and grow and grow and, <gasps> and, and enhance, and it will flare and then disappear. And Ashal starts breathing again at full HP, but still <gasps> stunned. 
And of course, you're the only one who sees that. Uh, clearly, this fiendish regeneration. Uh, the tattoos are now... They're spent and bloody. Fair. The crabs... The crabs... Are still full crabs. health. Still fighting. And they're gonna hit. For 11 damage! Ridiculous. That is... They oh, rolled like oh. shit in the last oh. fight. The Hierophant, like, looks down at you. You're being, like, attacked by the crabs, cutting into your body and stuff. And it will just sort of rumble out. Pathetic. Your and mama. is... Is that how you're gonna respond to a creature, yes. a race so... of creatures that do not have mothers? His mother is right exactly. there! You have to think about it. <laughs> you cannot so stop this with a paradox. The died of Ligma. <laughs> Who the hell is Atratosk? Ligma balls. <laughs> I, if you were playing a bard right now, uh, Quill, you would have done that joke at the start of the I, fight. I should have. Sure. I should play a bard at some point just so I can pull shit like that. Okay. It is going to try and grapple you with its tentacles. Oh, shouldn't. It is a hit. It is a crit, actually. Oh, fuck me. But by being a Hierophant, it doesn't do damage with its tentacle attack. But it does just ready itself for uh, getting your brain. So you're like, kind of conscious. You're turning, you see the thing. But it doesn't stop it. The tentacles are gonna, like, just rise out and then, like, splat and extend and yank your head towards it. I don't consent! And then you see the beak inside no! the mouth. Uh, oh, shit, so, uh... I'll probably do that and keep banishment up. Yeah, it's not a concentration spell to eat someone's brain. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, next is a shawl. It's going to be an intelligence save. You're full of sassy power. You are empowered by the succubi who gets a little bit more control over your brain every time. This, this, I this cannot be how it. I refuse to let Ocean of all people get coming. brain eater. Like, if that child dies, I'll be an upset. But okay, Ocean cannot get brain eater. Come on, you stupid die! I'm so glad that is a failure that you mentioned oh. Drea because she was meant to be on the turn order a couple of turns ago. That's why I'm going to add her at the doorway. <laughs> like, already in. Because she would have had to take a turn to sprint in. Uh, and let her take a turn. Um, that's kind of my bad. Um, a very so. dramatic scene to walk in on. Yeah. Ocean, you are grappled by the... She just goes fucking Super Saiyan. It's the community thing. Runs in with the pizza. And just oh, everything's on fire! Uh, you are grappled by the uh, Ebamari Hierophant right now. It will be an it's... athletics or acrobatics to get out. Or you can just stay there and risk getting your brain started to cut out. I start making out with it. No. <laughs> um, yeah. um, I'm going to So the crabs are on my legs. They're going... Yeah. I'm going to pick up the crab from my leg and shove it into its beak and be like... It's from another world! <laughs> because my plan before I was stunned when you were getting blasted was to pick up a crab and just fucking yeet it into the the beam. <laughs> but I well. will allow this if you can do a successful athletics or acrobatics against the crabs. <laughs> the crabs! Can you beat okay. crabs? Can you out tackle a crab? Acrobatics, you say? <laughs> crabs win. <laughs> You're trying to grab crabs and they're like tumbling all over your arms and they're fumbling and moving and all that. Okay, um... 
So I can move without. Us. Is that a grapple? You cannot grappled. move right now. You oh, are grappled. I can't move. Can I summon things with concentration and stuff? It, oh, you I have presume. a bonus action remaining. Yeah, using the If you can do action. something with a bonus action, if you can see, you cannot see much because your face is in this guy's mouth. So a lot of spells have a C requirement. Your spiritual can weapon, I... you can move, yeah. but you can only move it 20 foot a turn. So it's not going to get anywhere yet. Yeah. But so you could start I moving can't it. Summon spiritual guardians right now. That's it's an, an action. No, that's an action. Throw my baby at it? <laughs> Uh, I can't commune either. You just take more damage. Your health no, went down. That was from last thing. It might okay. just. It, I, I don't think. I don't think. I don't um, think I clicked yeah, onto it clicked the off map. There. Yeah. Like, yeah, that yeah. isn't what you need to do. If the Pempress is going to come back at any point, now would be a nice time. I mean... I don't think you have anything that you can do as a bonus. I mean, you can healing worm, but it's not going to help. It will help. Being, being I mean, health, health will help. Sentence, right? Hmm? It's not like an instant... Being brainy, it isn't like an instant you are dead. Oh, it is. No, it is. If he oh, reduces her health to... If he reduces her health to zero... Her brain is removed. If okay, you, okay, but as, if, if the damage isn't high enough to go to zero, it's yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah, healing yeah, is you. very oh, useful yeah. right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. If yeah, that's you get a good enough roll, if you use the right spell slots, you can There's maybe no get another turn. Apart from healing word is a bonus healing word is a bonus action, which you have right now. Which is the better one? Well, you could only do one. Same. But, okay. Yeah. okay. So I will just be in that case. You might as well at your high, the highest level. Highest level! Is that level four? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Not 12 points of healing. 12 HP, that might keep 12 HP. Turn, turn or 12 HP. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be 19. done. Thank Is this you. round four I've been banished? It will be on his turn, yes. Uh, yeah. I, I've got a little tracker here because it's the same turn that Shaw got stunned as well. Uh, Hail Ivrith, full of grace. <laughs> Give me the power to beat up this bitch. Six. Drea is going to be running. Drea is going to run and throw some darts at the, uh, the dude. It's gonna be. It's actually a crit, oh, wow. which is pretty good. How can you get the crits? You're not even. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna defeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> Beat myself That's every day. Key. If you get if you get enough DM NPCs, then just let them defeat. Let, let them only defeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> so these uh these darts, which may actually be shuriken, <laughs> will just like. And uh, it won't be enough to break this guy from Oshun. But it is enough to break the concentration on banishment. So all of a sudden, there is this force of air as Freeze Builder reappears. Please, superhero land. <laughs> I am so glad that I said you sending. Even if Dre already knew, I am so glad. <laughs> Can you roll like um, not acrobatics or like dexterity or something to see if you fall on your ass? So I don't think you want to do that because if you roll one, that's that's more right. shit you don't, don't have on that. you. I don't want to um, do that. <laughs> She's superheroes in my mind. Atratosk okay. is going to uh, attack a shawl again. At least I'm keeping it busy. You know, it would have been a one if he didn't have advantage and is going to oh. deal. It's gonna be. That's seven bludgeoning damage, and this time he's gonna grapple you and just start, like, dragging a shawl towards the pool. 
Um, where am I just going to move him? Actually, can't move him. That would be his next turn, I guess. Actually, he can if he moves at the same time, which he will. So he's going to do one of these. Ba ba. Ba ba. I was going to start climbing out of the pool. No, that would be a very bad idea for it to be out of the pool. Shame, shame. Why doesn't he do the it? The crab is no going. Balls. To move. Uh, I think the crab's just going to start leaving. Um, to live their best life in the yeah. material plane. Um, Bye, Grabo. Uh, at this point, it is the, uh, the Mind Flayer Hierophant's turn. It does have to make an attack roll while it's grappling you. Which will hit. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, sometimes having your brain extracted makes you sneeze. Yeah. Well, they need to have a tentacle in the nose just to hold on, right? <laughs> You're like, pinch on it. Wait! Oh, she I mean, doesn't have a nose! That, that, was, that was like ancient Egyptian making of making of mummies. They yeah. remove the brain through the nose. The nose. So. Mm -hmm. Those fucking bastards. It's going to be seven, seven piercing damage this turn on Oshun. As uh, you you are like you are conscious, you di which is good because this isn't a this isn't a take to minus one. This is a take to zero, so that's very important. The 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 beak, the Mari grinds and spins, and just you feel it like right there, just starting to carve in. And it's slow too, and it really gets digs in and purchases. Is it more difficult because I have like a jewel there, please? <laughs> You heard it crunching on something. Nah. Hopebringer. You're right there. So is the Hierophant. Atratosk is dragging a shawl away slowly. It is a brain. It's not very fast. Wait. Brains are quite fast at reaction speed. But anyway. Um, <laughs> and Drea probably can't get in melee this turn. That's why Drea is throwing... Okay, okay. Okay, right. So... Of note, how when... The, I was just about to say that. When the Hierophant was hit by the darts, it looked like it did quite a lot. They are a spellcaster. They're usually not high health. That said, it's not bloodied yet. Right. But still, they're so, just darts. Darts are D4s. <laughs> so. Okay. If I... Oh, I, can't, I only got one preparation left and I was saving it. Ah, so I can't risk doing that. But uh, if you don't take the risk... There is a chance yeah. of Ocean just instantly dying next can turn. I, like, run up and just, like, push the Hierophant off? You could do a shove. Ocean. Yeah. It's like, a shove action. It's a contested shove. athletics. For running in, I'm going to shove it off. With 10 feet athletics. Yeah. 17. 17 is really good. It gets an 11, so you can just... And just... The, the tentacles will pop off Ocean's uh, face. You can push it five feet Yay! in any direction, so I imagine you want to push it this way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, mate. Um, there is this <gasps> splatter of blood and saliva, and yeah, the jewel on your head is actually kind of in this guy's mouth still. Uh, Alright. That was my action, right? Yeah, it's an action to shove. To shove. Okay, yeah. If you have extra attack, you can technically down. Uh, use it to do I other do. stuff, but I don't think you do. No, I don't think I do. Um, okay, well, I will move. I move 10 feet to there. So 15, 15, 20, 25. Will we get an opportunity attack of some kind on me? Uh, nah. He's, he's saving his reactions. Ashar, give me an intelligence save. Yes! Oh, okay. I, can I... I know I don't have any actions. Can Ashar pretend, can pretend to be still be stunned? Yes, because I don't think it would really make much of a difference. I figure it wouldn't, but yeah. Ashar's yeah. just going to lean into this a, a little bit. Because I have a plan! 
Is the plan inflict wounds for chance? No, the plan okay. is a little bit is a little bit different. That it probably won't work, but I'm going to give it a try. <clears throat> yeah, these plans never work in the finales. Oh, Shun. Yes. It's your turn. Your head is free for now. This guy also doesn't have banishment cast anymore, which is a realm of opportunities. Spirit guardians, many little spiders pour from my face and the wound. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, yeah! That, that just ain't right. <laughs> and I'm gonna creep the sword a little closer. Okay. Four squares. I just go 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> that works, yeah. <laughs> Whatever works, you know. Uh, Drain. gonna get him next time. Yeah, her allegiance is Ocean, so she's gonna do the. Fair, honestly. That, that that kind of works for what I was planning, so that's okay. That I shall ain't even mad. To be fair, I think if a, if if Atratos tries to write she's just gonna... Ashal and all of the different magics in and just... on Ashal, it's it would give them, at the very least bad indigestion. I don't know how a brain gets indigestion, but you know. And then you'd have a little friend that goes, hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Atratosk needs some pussy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Probably would help. Within himself. <laughs> the suck uh, pussy. <laughs> you don't even. You don't, okay. Um, as Dre is running up, she's going to equip her scythe as she's running through your scythe. So they both like link for a moment. And then she's going to start, but she can't actually get within melee. That was a, a dash. Um, so she's up close and personal, and uh, driven so, by vengeance. Uh, she's just driven by her need to kill things. Um, oh shit! I wasn't even reading this properly. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing if the Elder Brain has any, because it can grapple people. It doesn't really have a pull ability, so I'm just going to say it uses its turn to um, pull you closer. Yeah, it'll oh. be like that. Uh, it'll oh, be like that. the strange soup! Yeah, it's at the point where uh, Ashal is still above the brine pool, but if you opened your eyes, you would be able to tell that the kind of grainy stuff in the briny pool is hundreds and thousands of dead Mind Flayer tadpoles. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It almost makes it look like, you know, there's a grainy film on top of the water, but that's just what it is. That makes dead me tadpoles. sad. Ashal, why do you have such a habit of being dipped into things you shouldn't be <laughs> dipped into? <laughs> <laughs> We just need to cover our shawl in a sweet, like, powder, like, dip him and Unf just go. Unfortunately, this does slightly, slightly make my plan less viable, but I'm They're gonna dead. see. They're dead. No, oh, it's just... Uh, There's still so. brine under there. Yeah. A layer of delicious brine. A layer of salty brine. <laughs> salty, salty, so sweet. I'm just thinking of that video of the the was it the eel or something that goes into a brine pool and gets toxic shot. Where we're seeing. Why is that? Not, what? That's sad. Why? Yeah. It, well, it's fine. It comes out fine. It, like it, it. It just the fact that it, like dips a little too far in, looking for food, and it comes up, and it's all like, and scrungle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did say the word scrungle, so it's okay. And then it was fine. It swam off, and it was okay, and it learned its lesson not to go too far into the brine pool. Funny. When you oh yes, the bri the brine pool's at the bottom of the sea. Yes. 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 Okay. No, I do know what you're talking about now. Sorry, I'm I'm in three books right now. <laughs> um, I'm three books. Deep. I'm three books deep. Uh, the hierophant is going to fly up, basically back against the far wall, and is going to start, you know, conjuring as much magic as it can. And from one of its pouches, it throws a pinch of sulfurous. Ash, and it's going to cast Flame Strike on Drea and Oshun. Please give me dexterity saving throws. As basically the, the sulfur fries through the air and when it lands, it forms a circle and just... There's a pillar of fire. Hellfire! Dark fire! 
Um, I need to take Drea's stats. I don't want to roll on Drea's sheet because it's going to take way too long right now. But, uh, what? Yeah, so, needless to say, Ocean fails. Um... must be the fault of a woman. That's what I say when something bad's happening. Drea will pass, which means Drea will take half damage. Uh, but Ocean is going to take full damage, it's fire damage, and it is... Your uh, you don't have to say it! <laughs> You've willed it into existence. Ten fire damage, plus... Ow. Math. Fourteen radiant. Fuck ah. me! 24. That's a fifth level spell. Blech. Drea is just one of those, just kind of brunts it and will just dash out of the fire with the scythe. Just glaring at it. I want fan out of this. I might make fan out of this. I was going to say, that would probably end up a card in the card game. Oh no. It's Opening Drea's card. sheet, crashed roll 20. There we go. Oh shit. This is why I wasn't opening it. I knew, I knew it would be bad mood. Um, Ocean is passed out on the ground. Damn it, okay. I should have done a spell myself. Hope bringer. Okay. Bring her. Oh! Since Drea is dealing with the Hierophant, I am going to dash towards the brain. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm guessing I can just go straight here for 50. Yeah, it's like raised, but not that much. Yeah, okay, it's okay. enough of a step like, for like a drama. Lit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I guess that's my turn. because that's. I'm actually, actually going to say, probably should have done it before this turn, but this is where we're going to take a little break. So it's been an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, it's a break for snacks and energy and all of that sort of thing. So... Oh, she's just on the ground, just goes... <laughs> no, you're you're dying. You can't eat yogurt when you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will, will be back... As Sorry, just as it's running, Hopebringer's gonna take off the backpack full of royal jelly. Leave it on the floor. Oh, good. Oh, phew. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to mix the jelly and the brine. All right, yeah, we're gonna be back too. in uh, uh, probably like five or seven minutes or so. So we'll be back soon. Bye.
Okay. We return with actually a Charles turn. Hopebringer is running up into Atratosk's brine pool. And Atratosk has you close. You can almost. I mean, you can feel the psionic gloating of, of Atratosk. You feel like there may be a monologue coming up uh, if, if you're not careful. Now, question about elder brain physiology and how much that shell would know. Like, is the brine pool like a, a part of circulation with the brain? Or is there... You can see pumping. Uh, you can see the shadow in the pool. You can see that this is... Adrodusk is still kind of a living creature. Ba basically, you can see, like, but what where the there would be blood and brine. It's just shadow. So, yes, it is all together. The, 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 it's like the, the jars you have. They need the brine. The brine is, is just a way of keeping brain matter. It's less... It's more like oxygen than blood for it, though, I guess. Yeah. I, 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 I thought as much. I just wanted to double check. I have in my inventory a Radiant Ebimari brain. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to drop said Radiant Ebimari brain into the pool. <laughs> okay. It was it was in a brain. I specifically said when I got it, I would put it in one of the jars that I would normally use yeah. for my little brain yeah. rations. So I would like to tip that into the pool. <laughs> Okay, um, give me an Arcana check. You can't do that for free. Come on, Ashar, this is the one thing you consistently are good for, and you do rubbish, Lee! <laughs> you need to stop visualizing positive... I mean, a 12 is still, it could be worse. That's still not bad. You, uh, is there even, like, a cackle as you do it, or do you just flop the... Brain out of your bag. I, I, I shall, I shall, like looks at where the uh, where he where they imagine the eyes would be on Adratusk. <laughs> Adratusk, like the and the, the the brain, which is pale uh, and there is a glow to it, um, flops out of your bag into the brine pool with a splash. Uh, Adratusk is dragging you closer. Just lets out a chuff. I Do you really that. think that a little bit of light can stop what I have coming to this world? You think that your knowledge of light and darkness is anything compared to my mastery? I have been to the brink and I will take this world to the brink with me. That said... Just because you put it in the water and nothing happened doesn't mean it nothing wouldn't happen if you rolled better. <laughs> right now it's just in there. And it does float. The brine's kind of wibbly wibbling. But um Yeah. Uh anything else you'd like to do? Um what what did that would that, that be? Was an action. Action? Yeah. That was an action, yeah. That was an action, yeah. You could always kick it. Kick no, you have no action. No. That's an action to kick. No, I mean, <laughs> next time to like. Yeah, next time. Re retry the brain. Just be like. No, I, I have an idea on how to retry the brain. I, I think Ian knows. Pit is seeing what I'm picking up here. Put, oh, pat, put you pat can pat kick it. I, I have legs are weak like, and feeble. There's, <laughs> there's so many things in our Charles inventory that I could work with here. <laughs> <laughs> shit just starts falling out of your pockets. Yeah. You're like if, 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 if Adratos tries to like absorb Ashar and all of the stuff on them, then they're just going to get fucked by magic from like every source. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, no. Uh, oh, Shun, give me a death save, please. No, I don't wanna. Uh oh. Sorry, I had to reload roll 20 because for some reason Atratosk was floating in a massive black square. Yeah, yeah that'll happen. Um, that, that'll happen. Okie dokie, now I can give you a death save. It's a point of life. It's a point that of life! Good. That's, that is good. I mean, that's, that's fine. You might think that Drea 
uh, one of your many partners and then who is here to protect you would, you know, see that and maybe come to your aid. No, Drea is planning to kill this guy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd rather her do that, honestly, right now. So she's going to just charge up to him and, like, cut, even, like, shoulder barge him up against the wall, then back up and do some scythe swings. Nice. Get him, Drea! Get him! Yeah, she's gonna hit. Uh, I need to check stuff with her. Uh, weapon. I hope that it doesn't crash everything again. Take it to D12. Just this music. Uh, she rolls pretty horrible damage, though. Sadly, uh, pre pretty, pretty piss fucking poor, Drea. Um, honestly, so uh, the hierophant is going to live. She did get that crit before, though. Yeah, annoyingly not with her, her scythe, which does stuff if she crits, but that's okay. <laughs> Atratosk has a shawl right where he wants him. Ten years old. Um. Yeah, it's just gonna. Uh, it's gonna squeeze the tentacle around a shawl. It's gonna hit. It's not gonna do anything clever, because you know why does it doesn't need to? Because the shawl is is already here. Um, it's going to be twelve bludgeoning damage. The hierophant is going. There's a horse loose somewhere. There's a horse coming. <laughs> The horse playing a violin. I wanna steal. I wanna steal. Now we need to get some coconuts, make our own. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't done that before <laughs> while having a horse character. Um, <laughs> should you do that if you ever play a minor toy, Ian? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, luckily, uh, the Hierophant attacks fail against Dreya. There's enough dodging Yay. and ducking and weaving and armor. Um, so we go dip, dive right and dodge. to a free smolder over here on the edge of the brine pool. All right. Get it! Hoping is going to take the central crystal that's part of the, the gun. Right. And they're going to amp it up. They're going to <laughs> like a water crystal. I mean, that makes hold, sense. Like the gun up like a like a fucking spear, leap, plant it in the fucking braid, and I'm gonna use Sudden Arcanum to cast Inflict Wounds at second level. <laughs> okay, make sure you run into the pool to do it, but yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's basically just like, crap. Okay, let's, let's see, I'll Inflict Wounds, I'll just drag it onto my thing, and then, where did you go? I thought I added you. Accepting drop. Where doth thou appear? There it is. It's at second level. Come on, baby. Oh! Yeah. I only did one more damage from my level one in Flip Wounds earlier. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> thing, it's good damage! But it is good damage. It's, it's... it's not as much as I hoped for, but it's. It... It's gonna be. I mean, it, 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 it's a, it's a start. Um, Atratosk is a lot of brain, so there's like the light because it is a light-based weapon, right? It, and it's designed to kill creatures of this sort. And we'll give it vulnerability to the attack. Actually, it does start to glow inside in the areas where the membrane doesn't quite fit, and it does let out a sound because it's not really a scream because it's all just goo and brain. Well, that's how the sound of writhing and there's sloshing around with tendrils, but are immediately, some of, several of them are going to rise, you know, around Free Smolder. It seems that the, 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 the radiant energy basically in, injected into it, basically, has a really negative effect. 
A shark. Yeah, go, yeah. <laughs> you are still grappled by one of Atrotosk's tendrils. What have you got in your bag, Mary Poppins? <laughs> hmm, a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so the radiant Tebimari brain is floating around. Um, yeah, it's at your your feetsies. Yeah. Why I w- I have the pizza? I have aether dust as well. Uh huh. <laughs> Can I supercharge the brain with aether dust effectively? <laughs> Maybe. You don't know how what, what effect the arcane energy of Aether Dust would have. That's fair. Um, is there anything that's more clearly going to affect this thing? The thing that's into... clearly going to affect the thing is floating in the pool under you. Yeah. It's just trying to get it to... Uh, you you said you said I, I I could I I you knew where I was going with this. I didn't know where I was going with this. So I, I did. there's a there's a there's a there is I've I've laid my hints. The cards are on the table. Unless well, as Charlie, it's for radio, right? Um, <laughs> Shit! You can't Jesus. solve every problem by eating a magical artifact. Why not? <laughs> you know, it is a brain. Maybe you should try and eat the whole thing. No, I've, I've deliberately held off on that because the Ebmari we took it from was insane. Um, <laughs> driven mad by the radiance. Oh, shit. Um, oh God. Uh, Small knife. It w- I presume it would be an athletics check to break free of the tent of the ground. Athletics or acrobatics? You can acrobatics instead. It's not a very, not uh, right. it's not a very thick tentacle. It's you know very thin and spindly, Gross. and oily. Um, Stop. How many? Viscous. I didn't say that. Slimy. Most um, oozing. Turgid. <laughs> I'm it's going to. What? <laughs> Maybe it is. No. <laughs> I'm just checking various things. Um, Temper. Can't be too mad at that when you're having a so big fight. W- would you rule that tempestuous magic? It does not break a grapple. It does not break a grapple. Okay, that's it would say if it enough. did. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, oh, what do I do with this damn? Brain. <laughs> what do you do with a problem like Atratosk? I want to get out of this grapple. I've got a crap acrobatics, but you know, I roll badly on everything I'm good at, so I might as well try something I'm bad at. <laughs> hey, it wasn't a one. And Atratosk rolled a one. Yeah, you literally just like swoop free, and the loop just is like, doesn't like really sleep. react. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it's I'm more going to take a dose. smaller right now. I'm going to take a dose of the jar of embers again. Yeah, you can also you know move uh, if you wish. No, I'm so I'm just staying with the radiant brain. Okay. That means that's good. It just means we don't have to draw like a little brain symbol in uh, over there. Yeah, that is useful. Uh, Ocean, can you give me a death save? Nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. Yeah, that would be really cool. Nat 20. I don't even remember the last time we've had that. You've got two points two of life Two points now. of life. You are, well. If you get that on the next turn, you're stable, okay? As long as Atratos doesn't, you know, try to kill you when you sleep. I like stability. <laughs> Lame. Just lying on the floor Ooh, like, yes. babe, babe. Babe. <laughs> no, Dre is busy. Dre, Dre got a crit. Like... <laughs> Dre got that fat crit. Really appreciate some help. Babe. She's I just going to... ham on this guy with the the scythe. She's so cut okay. off a whole bunch of tendrils, lopped off an arm, 
it's not dead because it's never Mari. You know, they can lose an arm and like nothing happens. Um, I appreciate you for who you are. <laughs> She's in the samurai focus. Shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, tentacle attack against free smolder. Bring it. It's gonna hit. Fuck. <laughs> Been wrong. <laughs> uh, that was the wrong dice. I nearly rolled a D hundred. That's not the damage. <laughs> that ain't right. Uh, it's going to be twelve bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Okay. And you can already tell in the grapple, it's it's aiming to dunk you in in the pool. It's like already starting to try. Kind of push you. No donkeys. <laughs> you actually get kind of the the thought. It would, be, it would be out loud but quiet from Atrotox is like, where would I have to put a tadpole in this one? <laughs> she doesn't have ears. Um, which is a, an issue. The Hierophant will try again. Maybe um, not. Yeah, doesn't get through the armor. Okay. Free small though. Um, hmm. Breaking out of a grapple is an action, isn't it? It is. Well, I will attempt to break out of that grapple. I will do athletics. Yep. They, the tendrils are not very strong. It seems like they're quite easy to slip out of. Um, but there are a lot of them. Uh, hmm. And they have a really far range. So, in sorry. in response to what he said, because what was it? Where will I put a tadpole in this one? Yeah. And where will I bury you? Uh, oh, uh, if Ocean gonna... was alive, she'd do some snaps right now, but she is dying. And risking an attack opportunity, I will jump back to the edge so I can actually shoot it without getting disadvantage. Yeah, um, it will do so. Well, actually, no, it's going to do it at the end of your turn with a legendary action. It's not going to do it now. Okay, okay. All right, well, that's pr pretty much it. Yeah, cause I don't really have anything for... Oh, no, wait, it's, dodge is an action, not a bonus action. So, yeah. Yes, I think monks do it as a bonus action. Okay. It will attack. It will hit. Four. That is 11 bludgeoning. It's like, as you back up, it basically just basically tries to slip your legs under you. The tendrils... There's always a tendril and it's always doing something. Yeah. It's not a grapple though, right? No. Yeah, I will not let it do a grapple on an opportunity attack on this one. I think it might be a bit mean. Bit mean. Uh, just, just a tad mean. Asha. Go back to basics. Gonna grab the Radiant Devimari brain, try and find a point where Atratosk is clearly like linked to the pool, like be it a tentacle that's in the pool or something. It would be the uh, if you because you, it's like raised the up because it's fighting. You if yeah. uh, you get under it where all the tendrils are, that's probably where the water's being pumped in. In fact, you can even see a bit like uh, uh, octopuses have at the edge of them, the little airports it would have stuff like that at the bottom. Rain is going in there. Give me an Arcana check. <laughs> I Can presume I'll have to move up next yeah, to yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> Part of this is, you know, preparing the brain in such a way of your own magic so that it has maximum effect. That's, That's a 20. Better. That's more like it. That's yeah. better. <laughs> With the radiant damage that uh, Hopebringer did before, uh, again, much clearer effect. You almost see it... You essentially choke it. You choke him. There is like a like a strain, and you see the the darkness that was pulsing through the veins in the brain uh, pours, and light go through it. And as the light goes through it, there is like a like a <sighs> ethereal shriek, um, but it kind and of I, chokes it a bit. I shall I shall will um will will sort of say, you may bury the pieces after I eat most of it. <laughs> Ocean, give me a death save. You guys are so funny. Haha, <laughs> 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 you'll make me laugh. Oh, okay. That's it's a point not of death. Crit. It's not a crit fail. 
Got one. Got yeah, one. you can have a little death as a treat. It does mean next turn, if you don't heal Ocean, there is a 1 in 20 chance of her dying. Get there. That Just said... embers and, like, hit me in the face with them. Drown. Can't you load the embers into Hopebringer's gun and have them shoot, shoot you in the fucking face? I mean, I would absolutely allow that. That would take way too many turns, though. <laughs> you should have done that in advance to have a heal, uh, monster hunter heal shot. <laughs> Drea. Drea is going to get the Hierophant down, but not dead. She was very close to killing it. We need to um, talk about our priorities, babe. <laughs> <laughs> And is honestly going to be more interested in fighting the Elder Brain right now. Rude. <laughs> <gasps> Drea! We're going to have to have a conversation about this. Well, I mean, you don't know anything about it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Part of me knows. Nope, none of you knows. No metagaming. No metagaming for roleplay purposes. A shawl will tell me. That shawl's barely noticed. That shawl's been busy dealing with a massive fucking elder brain in front of them. You guys suck. <laughs> that was an evil laugh. Well, I'm attacking Freeze Mulder right now. <laughs> oh, uh, it is going to be a hit, and it is going to be... Da -da 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 -da. Nine bludgeoning damage. I'm okay. And a grapple, of course. Fuck. <laughs> it's your turn. You can act while grappled, but attacks against it would have disadvantage because, you know, it's trying to squeeze the gun out of your hands and things like that. Attacks in general. Does it look bloodied? Um, not bloodied, but... If you were interested in fighting it in ways other than dealing the most damage, it does seem quite saturated in radiance right now. Okay, so there's that going for us. Uh, I will... Okay, I'm going to break free the grapple, or at least attempt to. That's pretty decent. Yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> okay. And then I'll spend my movement 10, 20, 25. I can't dash because that's an action. Because I don't have a free action. Bonus okay. action. Do I have anything else I can do? Ooh, I don't think so. Those all take crap points I don't have. That's an action. That's a, yeah, I don't have anything else. That's my turn. Okay. That's very dramatic. That's, that's a word. A word show. Oh. oh! Oh, that's beautiful. Now that's an Ian realize. Pog moment. That's beautiful. Right now. now you realize. That's beautiful. My, I, if I if I upcast Wind of Respite to get it <laughs> gives it a right. thirty foot radius. <laughs> Are you going to do that? Yes. <laughs> it gives. It gives. Um, That's a lot of force. It gives eight healing to myself, free smolder, and ocean, and four temp HP. Dre is out, out of range. I can't. <laughs> so yeah, you get eight healing for. Um, Thank you. Four temp HP. You are alive, but on the ground, ocean. <gasps> <laughs> Uh, Drea, like, as she's running by, like, what, clearly not something to pick you up, just like, no time to scream, time to fight. <laughs> and like, We're gonna have conversations. <laughs> and, yeah, that's all I can do. I could, should I use... Should I get out of it? No, I'm staying right next to Atratas. Right, right next? It's not very... I, I'm he, flexing, yes, I'm It's posing, not very dangerous. Thing. To, to exactly. Atlas, Atlas doesn't have like a melee attack, you know, so. I'd rather he use these issue. tentacles to hit me than like some weird psychic attack. Uh, speaking of, it's going to use a legendary ac action to attack Freeze Molder. Which will hit. For 12. 
Okay, it's a good thing that heal came in. Go on. <laughs> yeah, the tentacle's just lurking out of the pool. Oh, sure, and it's you uh, next. It's half your movement action to stand up. Okay. I probably really made it at some point. I stand up. <laughs> now what? <laughs> uh, now I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Do I use another intense level? Probably not. Uh, do it up to you. I've got seven Probably worth that. Okay. That's a good heal. 24 Ooh. health. 24 health is really good. Yay. And is my spiritual weapon still up? Yeah. Should be. Cool. Yeah, it's not it's For a couple more turns. I think it has three more turns left. So it may not even get into melee range yeah. in time. And what was the range on my throwing? Oh, where well, you've used your action on your wounds. Ah, it's right, it's yeah. 20 foot range, but you can throw it with disadvantage at 60. But you don't have an action for it now. You have 15 feet of movement remaining if you want to start moving. No. Yes. Okay. <sighs> ah. <laughs> ah, I should have done a thing. Ah, well, maybe next time. Machine does not feel well. We just had 24 points of baby healing. Running. Metrotosk has chosen his target. Uh, but is going to miss Free Smolder. A chill brushes past you. <laughs> yeah. Free Smolder. Well, you know, you're running, uh, so it's like the f f f behind you, right? Alright. As I see a student getting up and moving. I have an idea. Ooh. If I Toss if I dash, am I still able to pass an item from me to another character? Yeah. Or is, okay. If cool. they've got a free I hand just... to receive it, which Oshun always does, because Oshun never uses yep. a shield, even though Oshun only uses one-handed well, weapons. Not, I'm not giving it to Oshun. I am going to take my rifle. I'm going to remove the radiant core that allows it to fire. Sling it over my back. I'm gonna run to so 10, 20, 25, and then I have to dash the last bit and hand it to a Jarl who knows where that port is. Yeah. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> Use this. <laughs> Which honestly, okay. it would kind of hurt a Jarl to hold even with the casings because it's so radiant and a Jarl is now so corrupted himself. And a Jarl has vulnerability to radiant damage thanks to the cloak as well. That's so. true. <laughs> uh, in which case but, it's your turn, a Jarl. A Jarl is stuffing that thing where the sun don't shine. Go ahead and roll <laughs> inflict wounds at second level. I mean, we did that before. It would just be radiant, essentially. Come on. Crit. The sun does not shine in the underside of a shadow oh. of Hugh's brain. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of damage. That's nearly Especially when you double it. <laughs> and it was so nearly in that one. Like, it rolled off at the last minute. I was like... <gasps> Atratosk's tail... Uh, tentacles, called their tentacles flail. Uh, they all got combined there. The tentacles flail. Light even goes into the dark strands of them somewhat. As the light pulses in the brain, you can see it's starting to burn the insides, the capillaries and stuff, but it doesn't kill Atratosk outright. But there is that that growl and burn and smoke kind of emanating from it. Atratosk. Uh, Ocean. Ocean's turn. Not Atratosk's turn. Ocean is not Atratosk. Not yet. Why else do you think he want to put tadpoles in people? You're part of okay. the, the song, you're part of the crew. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to throw the dagger again. Am I in range? <laughs> You, you are within disadvantage range, so roll with disadvantage. Move a little bit closer. Or move yeah. and roll like that. Okay, that would hit. It's it's some damage. Do you want to re-roll or not? No. No, you, you moved. Andrea. Andrea is seeing the situation is going to get up here and basically just brace. It's just going to like kind of use the scythe to co co corral as many of the tentacles at the base as possible to like hold the pendum in place and she actually will just start like wrapping them around an arm and like bracing which makes this horrible like leathery pulling noise atratos who's just through the psychic essence there's just I all love kinds of yelling tag of him. he's just like and is going to uh, go again. It's going to be free smolder. It's going to attack free smolder. Free smolder's AC is 16, and he yes. rolls a 14. So it does not deal damage. It's your turn, free smolder. All right. Uh, am I technically in melee range of him for shooting? No. Uh, yeah, for shooting, you don't have... You don't have disadvantage on shooting. What you don't have is any mechanics in the gun, so your gun doesn't work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the crossbow part. Yeah. Oh. Pistol weapon. <laughs> it's just more for thingy, just so I don't have disadvantage. Okay, so I'll sh mm -hmm. I will just point... Well, not quite point blank, but fire the crossbow into him. It is damage. It's a little bit of hurties. Uh, I'm not gonna move, and I died. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, it's then going to attack you with a legendary action, and miss. It's really trying to get you down for some reason. <laughs> oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Ashal, it's you next. The at this point, the the the, the core of the weapon. It's it, like the crystal inside is just a rock. There's nothing. I think it's much, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Steaming, have... burning core. <laughs> um, do I have anything else that I can use to boost that? Because I presume the brain has the, the radiant brain has gone as well. Um... It's somewhere up in that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Um, do I? I don't have anything else that's radiant. Um, hmm. Go acid on it. I mean, it's probably my best bet at this point. Um, when is acid never a good option? When you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> Try into a new world. Um... I'm gonna just try and break form him yeah. at this point, honestly. I'm out of shenanigans. <gasps> it gets what? a 24 constitution check. So uh, nothing, hap nothing happens at all. The, the membranous film around the brain, it, it just completely absorbs the magic. Grace. Ocean. Atratosk is practically uh, wheezing with radiance. I'm going to summon spirit guardians. Yeah. I don't think you're in range of it to do anything yet. No, just creeping closer. And I think creeping. this is also the turn when your spiritual weapon dissipates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna just Hack and slash. Spirit Guardians is an action. Yeah, you don't have anything else. Okay. Any... I can't delete the, the spiritual weapon right now. It's just pretend it's not there. Delete. A. Nice. So, yeah, that's end of That's the turn. Drea is just going to be holding the tentacles in place. 
but not all of them, because there's a lot of them. And there's going to be an attack against Free Smolder, which is a hit. For nine damage. Negative one. <laughs> oh, that's good. So I have uh, stable. Give me a death save. Do you fall into the pool? Face up, luckily. That's bad. One failure. What's worse is Atratosk forcing you into a psychic link now that your mind cannot defend itself. But that will start properly on its turn, actually. Not right now. Uh, Ashar. But you can basically see, like, the te like. The tendril that got you down, the rest of the party you can see is like above, and there's just like psionic essence kind of almost pouring. No, 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 we we, we don't do that here. I'm getting I'm getting Hobria back up. Kill wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'd be more. <laughs> oh, that is unpleasant in the best way. <sighs> Okay. Anything else? Thank you. <laughs> None of that, you. Now you sound like him. <laughs> Shall. I mean, Ocean. Yes. I am going to uh, use control water if I can. That's a lot Bloody of hell, that's a, that's a that war. Is water. Yeah, so the, you, you know why this is? It's because it's meant to be. It, it's meant to be. So what direct water does is several specific things, which it has listed there. So I need you to choose one of them. Okay. What it should have is them in bullet points, but it doesn't. Oh no! Let me bring My it up on. No, let, let me bring it up on D and D yeah. Beyond so you can see it there. <laughs> you can flood. You can create a trench. You can Trench redirect the flow. Whirlpool is probably the one you want to do for damage. Yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> you probably should have read it before you cast it. <laughs> Realistically. I read the first paragraph, which is Whirl what I do for anything. Whirlpool. This effect requires a body of water at least 50 feet square and 25 feet deep. It causes a whirlpool to form in the center of the area. So you'd basically be taking yeah. water away Shoot. from the center. I'd like to do that, please. Okay, so you turn the water into a, warf, uh, a vortex. Uh, every creature who's in that vortex must make a strength saving throw, which is uh, Free Smolder, Andrea, and Atratosk. As Charles is flying. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Atratosk yeah. is in there. Atratosk will make his save, but um, oh. you still do half damage, so roll 2d8 bludgeoning damage. You're going to start getting washed away. For some reason, I read that as it just takes 28 flat, and I was like, holy shit. Nah. Okay, so uh, Free Smaller takes 8 damage. Drea Sorry. also is strong and, and holds on. Um, so, yeah, the only person trapped in the vortex is uh, Free Smaller, who is also the most injured person. But uh, <laughs> It's like they fell in, and then, and then just... <laughs> But every single time it starts its turn, I believe, uh, it's going to take damage. Uh, and so will Drea. So she's going to take another damage uh, holding there. And Atratosk will do it at the start of their turn and will pass. So they're going to take half damage as well. So roll, 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 now roll, roll. that uh, yeah. the little spiders actually do hit because nothing can save against ocean spirit guardians even if they have a massive wisdom saving throw. So go ahead and roll spirit guardian. Damage. No one can resist my spider doors. Um, 
except for dyslexia. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Okay, fifteen radiant is 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 pretty good. Um, I'd like some blood points, please. I mean, no. I don't think you can mathematically roll high enough to beat Astrotos' constitution. <laughs> it was worth a try. <laughs> um, Freeze model, you need to give me a strength save because you are in the whirlpool. At disadvantage, I think. Yep. No. I have a memory of someone doing this before. This exact same thing. Oh, shit. Where it's like, I'm going to use Whirlpool! Oh, shit! It just kind of screwed all the allies up. I think it, it was I think it was the Druid in Midwinter. A long, long time ago. So you're going to take 2d8 damage. Please roll double ones. No! Is Oshun going to be the one to kill another guest? Hey! Hey! Hey. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blood draw off, um, Hopebringer. No! <laughs> Damn! I can! It doesn't have any negative consequences for them! True, I'm... <laughs> they ain't using negative. that blood! I'm back <laughs> below. Fuck me! I, I, shall. I haven't no. got another heal. <laughs> well, I, I do. Have. You gotta kill the brain. You need to kill this thing. And like all of my damages are psionic and necrotic, which this thing is probably immune Stop to. Start punching him. Psionic and lacrosse. Weak little hands. I do. The, the only thing I have is I have. I take care of fireball, but I need. But that would be a disadvantage in close combat and and break form, which it has a massive constitution score. Um, oh, and daggers and darts and everything. Yeah, and it's going to do one d four slashing damage. That's going to take forever. Um, uh, Brain eater, just start going for it. Doesn't matter that he's not dead, just start chewing on him. He's too big. Um, <laughs> How do you eat a giant? One bite at a time. Yeah, but I'm not not while he's alive. <laughs> that sounds like a loser's attitude. <laughs> I'm I'm taking a step away, Aww. just so I don't care if he gets an opportunity attack. No, he doesn't. Oh, he sprinkle the heart, the healing thing, the embers on. Yeah, I, I can, but she's just gonna go down again next turn. No, she's not because I've got things. Well, you can heal but her. But you then. are the I'm one creating the whirlpool that's <laughs> doing damage to her. <laughs> Yeah, you just saying. Oh, well, that's didn't have that's brilliant, good. isn't it? Well, it's Free a hit. Fire damage. <laughs> it's a hit, though. What, the, what hit. is that that pair of dice? Makes it look like it's eighteen damage. What are you it doing is, to me? It wrong, is that pretty is? mean. That that those dice do not add up. Oh, sure. Atatosk yeah. is losing consistency. Very full of radiance. And let's see what levels I have left. Okay, at level three. Okay, seven. I'm back up to seven health. You could pull her out. Out? <laughs> Not now. You, well, no, actually, that's, that's a bonus action. Out. Yes, you it's could use action. an action to pull Free Smolder out of the water. Yep. That is killing her that you created. Like here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I tuck you into the hair. There's a baby Thank hand. You. On the face. Ace is high. <laughs> baby hand. Baby's high. <laughs> Drea is going to take damage from the whirlpool. Full damage. Didn't make the save. So roll me 2d8. Well, you can drop it at any point. No, I want him to. I want him to suffocate. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to direct. That, yeah, yeah. I, you I, are doing I, it. You are doing two d eight damage per turn. If it yep. sails, it's save, which it's not. <laughs> yep, she's uh, she's buffeted by the water. In fact, she's gonna do uh, what's it called? Action, not action. Uh, second, second wind. Thing. Yeah, windy seconds. Thank you for the chortle. Okay. 
And she's just she's just real, she's like climbing on the Atratosk and like trying to you know both pin it out of the water and kind of into the water at the same time in in, in the most convenient way. Uh, Atratosk will fail its save, so it takes two d eight damage. The one time. Uh, the one time. That's annoying. It's going to take all of that four damage. Every single point. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Scrumptious. That finished him. <laughs> I wouldn't allow that. I would have fudged the numbers. <gasps> A crim. It's going to attack Drea. And does hit. And is going to just like... Like, she's trying to wrestle it down, and it just, like, grabs and pulls. And she's like, ah! <laughs> so she's going to be grappled and take quite a bit of damage. Uh, but it does pull her out of the water, I guess. Uh, Hope bringer. Okay, uh... Uh, I will uh, fire a, a, a crossbow bolt at him, and I'm guessing because thing is grappled, it's not at advantage. Yeah, no, she's not giving you any strategic usefulness now. She's just kind of pouring at, at it. She's not even struggling in the tentacle because she just wants There's to pour and hold it down. There's the nat There's the crit. Oh, if only it was with the arcane cannon. I know. The crossbow oh, bolt place. is going to puncture. A clean, like, through the membranous combination, like, connection in the middle of the brain, and just. And the brain does kind of like. <sighs> open in half. Still moving, still attacking, still fighting. It's just kind of. open in the middle. Split. Just yeah. Finish him! <coughs> Ashal. I'm trying! <laughs> As a hit. It you are a bard. Just <laughs> barely not a kill. Oh. oh no. You know what that means. It makes a wisdom save at the start of its turn. It fails. Roll <laughs> Spirit Guardian's damage. Get him, my babies! It actually does make sense. Doesn't really matter what you roll because you're doing at least five, three damage. And it's doubled. Get him! So 22 radiant damage as it's split open as the fire burns away the membrane, right? There's this membrane, and the membrane was kind of like snapping. The, the spirit spiders can work their way inside, and it's so full of radiant and light and holy energy in all of its forms that it just starts to explode. Separate bits, like the golden statue in Desolation of Smaug. It's like, not all at once, it's like... <laughs> Grey matter. And there will be a resounding, uh, you know, death cry. No! <laughs> As it just... <laughs> into splatters of grey that just very quickly all starts to melt into a pale sludge that starts mixing in with the brine. And washing into the center, I guess, because there's still a whirlpool. <laughs> Which I imagine you could stop, and then it just filters into a, a horrible, semi-solid, clumpy layer. You don't have to keep this guy right here. Yes, I do! <laughs> because if you're disgusted, I'm doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> and with that Atratosk, the shadow-infused ruler of this dead city is defeated. And you can already feel that as this focal point, this crux of shadow is destroyed, that the darkness lifts from this room. Like, considerably. You can actually see where there are cracks and breaks in the ceiling. Aether light twinkling in. Uh, as it kind of naturally would. 
I cast healing on the group. What healing to who and how? I was thinking about the... Word of Radiance? Is that the one that does something? No, that's... No, Word of Radiance is a, is a melee... Uh, I, the, the Jar of Embers has Prayer two doses. The, the Prayer of Healing is a good option. The Jar of Embers has two doses left. I ha probably hand that to Pope Bria to use the last two doses, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, Prayer of Healing. I mean, everyone can drink. Might as well be at full health. Yeah, Prayer of Healing takes Unless five... Unless it's ten another secret! Prayer of healing takes 10 minutes too, so it's one of those things you can just like kind of like kneel and start praying, right? Because yep. in this like start recovery mushroom. moment, start bringing magic forth. So in that 10 minutes, what are the other, what the rest, what do you other two want to do? Is there any, like, can I in any way, because I know he's sort of get dissolved straw, into good. Can I try and eat or sort of interact? Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can right. absorb it. In fact, yeah. uh, a shawl just clambers into it, starts shoveling it into his mouth. In some way, your instincts start to take over. And Ooh. absorbing it comes quite naturally. It's not just through the mouth, it's through the tendrils, it's through the skin. It's a mixture of the the brine pool and the, uh, the, the, like the essence in there. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. It's, you know... Little little, ha little little ballers of magic. Um, it comes quite naturally and gives you a sensation of uh, power and strength that you have gained from consuming other magic items before. But this one actually feels natural. <laughs> in that it's it's it's, it's natural to you. <laughs> um, you don't know exactly how it will affect you, but you know you 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 absorb a great deal of it. Yeah. Also, that set of armor. Mm -hmm. can, the, Still there. Can, like, you can't fit into it, Ashal. I can fit into it. It's made for a large creature. It's just a matter well, of whether I can. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's, it's weird because it's not armor, it's a body. It's a body. Yeah. It is a body made of the kind of um, organic chitinous bone matter that um, Edmari build from. It kind of doesn't really fit to be anything else. Um, yeah. It's probably the stuff nails are made out of. Uh, and also metal, and there's the organic parts, and all these sorts of strings and chains and things like that. And there is kind of like a missing head spot for like importing a brain or a, 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 or a creature or something. So it's just kind of slumped against its chains. It even also has what kind of... Either resemble tentacles or wings. You have seen, at this point, some creatures where they they kind of fly with the tendrils almost. This was designed for... to interact psionically with a elder brain through psionic energy. I wonder if it could be adapted to provide me with a suit of armor almost you'd look dope See there is a did. there is a wiggling and and protesting from one of ocean's bags oh shit larry lloyd oh. <laughs> <laughs> lloyd I let out Lloyd. Lloyd flumbles onto the floor and looks around. It's like, did you do it? Did you? Oh, you didn't even wake me up. You just destroyed him. He's very dead. Oh, he's splattered all over the walls. Would you like to play in the gook like a shawl? I think this time I will pass. But just this once. <laughs> you didn't even check on me once. I was just like an empty, cold stone in there the whole time. Oshun is going to <laughs> pretend that she's distracted by pain. <laughs> <laughs> as, Charles is stu as Charles is very studiously examining the 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 the, the, 
body and has probably got Hopebringer like looking at it as well. It's like, oh, I was, okay, I was gonna say Hopebringer was like, uh, I'm afraid our business distracted us. It was quite the journey. Isn't his beady little eyes just sort of squint at you? Were you others. aware that we were in the Shadow Realm? All I know is that I stopped feeling everything. I was basically dead that whole time. But screaming, silently. It's that okay. sounds like home. <laughs> I mean, if your screams were silent, you cannot blame us for not hearing them. Could have checked on me. Could have opened the bag. The bag. Put me in the bag. Could have opened the bag. That's fine. That's fine. No, you're you're travelers. You've you got a big adventure going on. It, 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 too much for friends. Too much for for, for 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 a friend like me. That's fine. Larry, welcome <laughs> to His name's Lloyd. The... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was deliberate, showing how much same, Ocean same. didn't care. I I would have thought it was deliberate, but for the fact I know Ocean wouldn't do that. <laughs> At first, it was kind of deliberate, but that second one was just me. That was just my brain. Lloyd, welcome to the land of where we are where are we are we inside the city of with evermaro rangarfirth i would imagine oh, yeah. this is atratosk's tower well oh shit you've already been there fuck oh i'm sorry i'm just so tired lloyd <sighs> give you a little pat wooden hand no i should be patting you come here i'm sorry for what it's worth we should have checked on you and on you, you dre although i know you can take care of yourself i'm sure you would have liked to have heard from us i was but... just waiting until you returned i imagined it was a matter of time i didn't think that the realm of shadows would hold you for too long How are you feeling, Drea? There is always a sense of accomplishment that comes by destroying things that corrupt the natural order of life and the chain of souls and the amount of sufferance that has been caused by this creature is now put to an end. That is good. That is a good thing. She'll say just Can stepping I, out like... of the pool. <laughs> yeah. Shloth. Can I like... By waking up and seeing her like on her way to fight the brain and like the dead Ebumari and stuff, can I piece together that she'd kind of left me on the ground? Yeah, at that point, because you saw her. Well, she even told you to get up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she told you to get up. Can I, can I look at her and see if she's upset with me? <laughs> you give her an insight roll, I guess. It's quite hard to read Dreya's emotions. She doesn't yes. really have any. Um, but, you know, it can happen. Yeah! That's five. <gasps> She's mad. She's great. <laughs> yeah, you, you think that she, she doesn't love you anymore. All of Oshun's eyes just go, in, like, glittery and glossy, and they're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. <laughs> So Lloyd's going to go up to the side of Charles, which is very funny because of the size and height difference and all of that. And and will kind of motion the body and be like, Ah, so this is what all the torture was for. I guess it's nearly done. All it needs is a brain. All it needs is a brain indeed. Do you want Oxys? <laughs> He would need upsies to get in. It's, it's pretty tall. It's like ten foot. Upsies. You are the one who suffered for this, Lloyd. What would you like done with it? Mecca. I mean, I, I could have it. 
I'm sure it would work. It was made using me. It's basically me. I'm sure do I could do good things. You having it? Look at that face. <laughs> and Charles will. And Charles is. And Charles, did, did you act? Did you actually ask that of a, in character? Or I think like because you'd mentioned before we were talking to Lloyd that you were going to get inside it. It could be armor for you. So I'd look at you and be like, "Hmm." <sighs> if Lloyd wants it, then I think it only fair that he has it. I mean, it's the least you could do after everything I've been through. That's kind of... Yes, that is my opinion as well. Good. Good. Then I, I guess that makes me the, 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 the owner of this mighty tower. Then, now, it'll like hop up on the little platform it was uh, set on. Um... Lloyd, back in Narashiro, there are places where you can seek help for the things that you have experienced and their effects on your body. I do think that treatment and support might be the way to go before you ascend. With can you give me a persuasion check? Yeah. I'll allow it. Uh, that is good. That is good. Look, you see Lloyd like put the land on the body and have that, you know, that that power hungry grin. Like he he physically cannot hide a grin. Uh, therapy. Go. Okay. Only because you clearly want to spend more time with me. You're very interesting, Lloyd. You don't want to get rid of me because you love me. And everyone loves you. You you would certainly know if someone didn't. And Lloyd will hop off the, the platform and just go up to you like a fine little jig. Creepy little spindly guy. Creepy, creepy little dude. <laughs> so looking around sorry, looking around this chamber, I I mean Atratosk was a giant brain. I can't imagine there are any notes in here, but maybe no. the I left something? No. Nah. <laughs> Not much. Um, worth asking. It is always <laughs> worth asking. Oh, well, 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 worth asking. Uh, Drea will yeah. just sort of ask him, like, well, is it back to Narashira for us then? Perhaps for the time being to regroup. On that, on that subject, I mean, if, if Lloyd is joining us for the express purpose of going to Narashiro, that does make most sense. I was going to suggest we had, we had two paths possible, well, we had potentially three paths, but two primary ones. We could return to Narashiro, which is probably less dangerous, but Assuming we are working, we are continuing to work against. Uh, she shall not be named. <laughs> exactly, I've forgotten her freak, Lathura. Um, How dare you forget Lathura's name? She'll smite uh, you for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, assuming we are continuing to work against Lathura, we might also not find many. Alternatively, the greater risk would be to return to Evamaro. I do not suggest that lightly, as Oxua may, may not take kindly to us, but if she did, they would potentially be greater allies. Mm. At least as a whole, rather than disparate, they would not be disparate groups. I suppose the third option is to go somewhere completely unexpected and find in different people entirely, but that seems not wise. No need to make a decision straight away. Yeah, Drea will just be staring at Free Smolder at this point, the, the one who does not belong. 
they'll uh, pick up the the bag of jelly that they left on the floor mid combat. Jelly breaker. Sling it back over their shoulders. It would seem this is where our paths diverge. If you wish it to be, that would make sense. I feel my... Destiny is not the word. But my calling is to find my people and bring them hope that things may be rebuilt. It will be different. It will be strange for them, as it has been for me. I have learned much fighting and talking with you all. That sounds the vestige like a will survive. To me. You have our gratitude for your aid, and you go with our best wishes, and... Should you ever need us again, just shoot jelly into the sky, and we'll see it. <laughs> If you require aid as well, then please find me in the Shadow Realm. And hopefully, me and my people will be in the best position to provide that aid. Is this a free spell to walks out the, the, the door situation? Is, if, if Dre is still staring at them, they'll turn and look. Is there something you wish to say? Or... Drea will will shrug uh, and just say, Good luck. Ocean's gonna give a big hug. Put in a shawl. (laughs) And then return the hug. Yes. Oh, let me get in on this. I yes. love a hug. Poop Lloyd. And then just look at Trey like, eh? Eh? Uh, don't do that kind of eh? group touching. <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet again, friends. Until and we meet again. I didn't even kill you. <laughs> no, will walk into the cage and... Bye-bye! Yeah. Uh, Over the next few hours, you guys can kind of prepare to start shipping off. And, you know, you still have the option of uh, Narashira or Ebamaro, and both are in the same direction. And uh, you you move on towards whatever is next. Probably gaining more power to fight Lathura, maybe more allegiances. Who knows? But as you leave the city... Your pocket watch starts to ring, Ashar. <gasps> Good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and that's where we'll end off this season, this chapter. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Well, if you want to know what will happen after this quilt, you'll just have to check out next se- uh, chapter. I keep saying the wrong thing. Um, but uh, thank you, of course, for joining us, uh, Quill. And you actually oh. succeeded in the plot of a season. You did not fail at that, the end of the finale. Finale that didn't fail. What did it start? Third times the charm. Yeah. Third times the charm. <laughs> That's per- I'm, that it might be the title of today's failed, episode. But then we had clever ideas, and they paid off. Mm-hmm. We did it. Yeah. Yeah, you did do it. And this is also nice, too, because this is, you know, this whole uh, plot was something that I know Ian wanted to kind of deal with since the start of this character. Yeah. And, you know, seeing what happened, getting to kind of explore a lot of the stuff around it, I think um, is very cool. Uh, I have a lot more things planned for these characters. Mind Over Matter will continue. I think it will just be Ian and Zoe for a little bit. Um... Uh, but uh, we're going to have a great uh, great deal more stories to tell you 
Um, thanks for joining us for this chapter, of course. And I guess this is where we end off by talking a little bit about what we do, starting with the uh, extra special guest star of this season, uh, Voice Quills. Hey, well, first of all, thank you very, very much for having me on and bringing me in for this season. It has been absolutely fantastic. I have loved every moment of it. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you very, very much. Uh, and yeah, if you uh, enjoy the shenanigans I've been doing, uh, I'm also on the Saturday show as Pete Morganak, the Cobalt fighter, and maybe something else. Um, well, I just have to see. I totally didn't nearly get the executed in the house because he was trying to do shenanigans. Yeah, um, don't mess with dad. That's that's the the plot there. Yes, don't mess with dad. Um, so yeah, you can find me there, or you can find me on YouTube, Voice Quills, where I post daily ship posts. I recently went over the four months straight of daily uploads of ship posts. Um, and I'm still, I'm not slowing down. In fact, there's a backlog of ones I want to do now. So at least for the next few days, I'm, I'm pretty set. So uh, check those out when they come out. And I'm also on Twitter where I ship post constantly and occasionally talk about things I do in my little homebrew world. I'm slowly building up. So yeah. And again, thank you for having me on. It's been absolutely oh, it's fantastic. It's been so good to have you. Yeah. And of course, I think we briefly mentioned it, but this is mostly just a coincidence. You were planning a backup character for the Saturday game, and I was like, that character lives here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how this goes. Um, yeah, it's been great. Uh, this is always a fun game to have a, 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 a stray guest join for a little while uh, and uh, have some big impact in Yavaskir one way or another, which is always very fun. Um, but the one with the biggest impact on Yavaskir is, of course, Ian. <laughs> it's because because I'm in so much of Yavaskir and have so many characters dotted around in a million and ten places. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and some of them are alive. Yeah, some of them are alive and some of them remain alive despite uh, by the despite their own best efforts, I feel like. Um I mean I did uh, I did give you the whammy in that basically the succubus power you get as a passive is like a death ward. <laughs> Which yes. <laughs> is useful, but you usually only have two or three party members, so I think it's appreciated. <laughs> yeah, that is it is appreciated, and, I, and I, I, I this is what I love about getting to get playing the same character for a long period because they build up so many random like abilities and items that you just don't get when you create a like high level character. It's yeah. so good. And if you like that sort of thing, we don't often get to that high level um, in in most of um, the Arlo's Gear games, but we get to a reasonable level and a lot of interesting stuff happens. So you should go check that out on Patreon. If you subscribe for $5 a month, you get access to all the um, uh, backlog of various games on um, that, are, that, are, that are podcasted rather than video. Um, and yeah, go subscribe to that. Also check out the Discord if you want to discuss um, Mind Over Matter or any other Yavis Gear shows or Yavis Gear lore. There's, we're always happy to talk about it. I'm always happy to share my opinions about and takes on how Ashana's acting or how the world's going or anything. Yeah, definitely uh, hop into the spoiler chat channel for Mind Over Matter uh, at the end of a chapter. You, you gotta, you gotta say your thoughts and what you liked how, and stuff. How much we, you thought we were going to die. Yeah, because I thought we were going to die. How much we thought we were going to die. <laughs> Very interesting creature. Obviously, it was a, it was not the exactly the one in the book because it's meant for, like, big parties of either way, right? But that very interesting way to do a final boss where it just has like a couple of weird moves and like really long gangly range. <laughs> it's interesting. Um... Yeah, and Zoe. Hello. So I'm in this game. I'm just in sort of the Wednesday one. Ollie and I are working on some writing stuff for Yavis Gear, set in Goldport, which I'm super excited about. Doing some really cool, cool stuff so far that I'm pleased with. And I actually got a Twitter last week, so I'm on the Twitter and I post my artwork and. Uh, it's 
Janelle Scribble at J O N E L L E Scribble. I did a picture nice. of Kim from Disco Elysium that people seem to like. So I was like, ha! <laughs> it feeds my ADHD brain. Oh, uh, it's a slippery slope. I'm oh, hooked don't. on that dopamine. No, we'll have to take Twitter it's too away. Late. That's uh, that, that that can be a, a slippery slope. But I did have that recently because I did a painting of Balord. Um, it's not even fucking finished. Um, people were like, "He's so handsome." Uh, which is, and it's funny because my mum was even like, "Oh, I imagine him being very graceful." Or like, "Oh no, he's a crazy old man. He's a crazy old man who is naked forty percent of the time." <laughs> well, I was going to say that I'm going to look at that right now, and then you he's not naked in that photo. He is naked in another photo that's on Patreon as a much younger man. He's so uh, handsome yeah. in a weird, uh, kind of sinister way. He could kill most ever party members without really even thinking about it, if he wanted I don't like to. His eye. Yeah, I remember the one the one time he was involved. It was in a mother's love that he joined as an as an allied NPC in a fight and cast bless at ninth level. <laughs> was that it? It was it was eight four ninth level. He cast yeah. it on like seven people or eight people or something. Yeah, no, no, there were was, a lot of people like, in the um. What was it called? The the the, the Concord of Kings. There's the, the event. Yeah, yeah. Where he cast the it on like every damn ally in the room. I, I was just like, what? <laughs> That's a that lord is very powerful. Speaking of um, natural. Speaking of unnatural, <laughs> um, these guys have mostly already shielded my stuff, but um, we might be playing a game that just came out on the Nintendo Switch tomorrow. In a couple more days. Um, so, uh, there's art streams, there's other stuff going on. Join, uh, hang out. Thanks for support on Patreon, thanks for support in, in, in all that sort of thing, and we will be back with uh, chapter four whenever we're ready, which may be next week, because last time we were like, we'll take a bunch of time and then just did it anyway. Um, so it's kind of up to you all, and I hope to see you in the next couple of days, and especially on Saturday, because um, that party is all, that, that campaign is also kind of revving up the end of this season, and I hope to do more seasons with it as well um, as those characters grow. Um, which is really nice. And if you want to see the kind of inverse comparison of the Narasiro Usurper Elves, that's got a lot of that going on. So, um, we're going to leave you now. We're going to say thank you to people who support us on Patreon. And that's it. That, that's what we're doing. I'm cool. See you next mm. time. Thanks for joining us. See you. Oh, See you. Oh,